Welcome back to Dodging Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. So I've got a Oni here. I'm going to try out the new shining one. It looks like I've already got the shining one, but I haven't. This is just an orb of light that I start with. Oh, there's lots of little creatures here, but they don't last too long. I think... Oh, I can't wear helmets, of course, because I'm an Oni. What do I start with an Ambrosia, is it? Which I think gives me an attack against everyone around me, because um, I'm an Oni when I use it. Oh, gloves, there's lots of things they can't wear today. Uh, also, this guy's got... No, not a magic dagger. I thought it was a magic dagger. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell, because it's just like a tiny little outline is the only difference between a magic dagger and a non-magic dagger. Like a little blue outline. I was also quick at reaching second level because there's just been a ton of really weak monsters, which is really good for leveling you up in the first level of the dungeon. It's certainly better than meeting a gnoll or something, which probably would level you up if you survived. Well, again, lots of little weak creatures. I get into the corridor and just bash them all, I think. How much damage do I do? That seems really effective. Do I do 10 damage? I guess that's decent for a first, no, second level character now. Oh, a random quick blade. I'm not... Oh, I'm not the right character for a quick blade. I'm gonna use the opposite of a quick blade. I'm gonna use like a giant spike club. This character, that's a shame. Like so many characters would have benefited from that, but not this character. Not really. I mean, I got a lot of decks. I got like eleven decks, but I still don't think it's a good idea to use a quick blade on this character. I mean, I guess I could. Mm, no, I probably won't. Ooh, that guy's got venom. What do I have to like throw at it? I don't think I've got anything. I've just gotta hit it. Alright, well I survived and I can get I'll get more strength. That's what I need for hitting people with a big club. Oh more gloves, of course. Game knows exactly what I can't use. Um <laughs> I'm sure it'll give me some cloaks too at some stage. Something I can wear, because this is an audio I can wear what? Cloaks? Hats? Dragon armor? I think that's it. Hey Ruga, how's it going? Have you tried the new... Is it a Divine Shield that got changed on the Shining one? I'm not entirely sure what's been changed, but I know the Divine Shield definitely got changed. I'm kind of... Kind of wanting to try it to see what it does now, because it used to just give a decent amount of shield value, which was interesting, but... I mean, it was reasonably powerful before, but nothing too interesting, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, you haven't heard of a TSO change? Yeah, I think I just, uh, there was apparently, like, a little bug. I heard of the bug where, like, everyone was getting the Shining One's shield. And it was, like, really overpowered. That's how I heard of it. Um, but that got fixed pretty quickly. Ooh, I hope I can kill the snake. Oh, I know why I'm doing so much damage. It's because I got the glowing aura from the Orb of Light, which basically is, like, 50% more damage kind of thing in the early levels. That, oh, I can't really check with this guy. But my chance of heading is like 80% or something. It's really good. Whereas it wouldn't be without it. Hey, Sally! Oh, Roger experienced the bug where you got the... Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's probably... I think that's where I saw it. The bug where the shiny one's shield was applied to everyone. Oh, you had a gong? Right, like everyone's... Right, that's right. I think that's exactly where I heard of it. Like in the cosplay Discord. It was a bug to apply to everyone, yup. Oh, I should have checked with that snake how much my chance of hitting it increases when it moves into my light. Just to uh, show how much of a difference it is. I can check with this guy. Like, I've got 55% to hurt. Then it steps and it goes up to 72%. Okay, so not quite a 50% more damage. Not these guys anyway. But it probably isn't some of them. Uh... What about this guy? I mean, oh, that was really easy to hit anyway, so it definitely wouldn't be on that one. It's already 80 something percent, but it's not even in my light. Alright, well, that's level 3 of the dungeon. Got done. These first few levels are pretty easy, of course. Man, I wouldn't mind a, Actually, no, I don't need a gog with this character, do I? Oh, I wouldn't mind one, even if I can't use it. Because I'm going to end up using a giant spike club. At least that's the plan. Uh, I could probably kill one of these fiery bombardier beetles. Yeah, I can. 
Could I kill an ogre, though, if I wanted to get a giant spike club of gods? Oh, I've only got, like, 68 points. Probably not. Yeah, I wouldn't want to... I mean, dungeon level 4, you actually can find ogres. Huh. I wouldn't want to, though. <laughs> oh, what's up? No, it's just a normal spear. Um... I don't even start with a lot. I should read some of those scrolls soon. Oh. How much damage does it do? Ah, uh, I think I gotta drink my potion. That's a shame. Oh well. And it healed me right up, but... Yeah, it just gave me a bit too wounded and it's identified. Let's see if I can get some stuff. Yeah, I've got Cure, which is nice. That helps everyone around me. Berserk Rage could be useful, but I don't think that does anything special. Just scroll. Fog, alright. I don't know, scroll. Fear? Fear's good. I've got some revelations. Oh, yeah. I mean, revelations don't tend to keep you alive, but it can get you into temporary locations, so it's still alright. Uh, I'm gonna check for weapons, because, uh, mace, that's a bad one, right? And the flails are slightly better, although it looks like there's just clubs and whips around, so not exactly a lot of choice there with maces and flails. Oh, boomerangs are good. I think ogres, uh, they can throw the giant spike, uh, not giant spike clubs. <laughs> they can throw the rocks. So, it's always worth getting a bit of throwing. That's a... Oh, that's another base. And a quarter staff, right. Um, wait, four identifiers? I just ran away identifiers. I guess I found four in the pile. So I got one and before they get better up, which will probably be a long time. Um... Immolation, I'd still only fire this vulnerability. I don't think I've got any wands, so that's probably not that useful. Enlightenment's good, though. That gives more power. And, I guess, the ability to fly, but the willpower is probably more useful in general. I was pulling in a snake so carefully. I guess there are other creatures around here, potentially. Because I'm near the staircase where I saw everything. Whoa. Whoa, that's a, that's a water moccasin. Um... Would it be too risky to drink a potion of Berserk Rage with a wood and I gotta do it, but the poison is potentially making this too risky. We'll see. I mean, I guess it just absolutely died when I was Berserk. Hmm, I still don't know if that was a good idea or not. But I guess if it works, it works. Oh, more enchant armor. Sure. Oh, add it to my collection. I still haven't even found a hat or anything. Oh, good. There might be the shiny one in here. Let's go take a look. Hey, there we go. Pretty much first god I see is the shiny one. Alright, shiny one. Shiny one prevents you from stabbing unaware things. Occasionally guards your life. I don't know if I've had the occasionally guarding my life come up. I probably have. Probably just haven't really noticed it before. What's that guy got? Obviously not an orb of light. Orb of mayhem. Right, that's probably fine. Yeah, I don't think that does a lot on enemies, does it? Maybe it does. Oh, this one's got an orb as well. Orb of Wrath, so it can go berserk when it hits, I think. That's not too bad. It's, yeah, I mean, it did it anyway. But it's a priest, so I don't think it's melee attacks do a whole lot. Um, well, I've got a pretty much full collection of orbs. I don't think I've got an orb of energy, but I've got everything else. Which is unusual, because orbs are usually fairly rare. Ooh. Ah, I'm not gonna get anywhere by the take corrosion. I'm gonna have to use a wand of fire. Take that guy out. At least I have one. Ooh, hey, an ogre. Um. I hit it with a boomerang until it gets closer. There we go. And I think I do want to shine spike club. So I've got one attack to like 12 damage. I've got. Wait, what? Oh, right. I gotta take it by orb light, but I'm pretty sure it's not doing anything. A little bit of Shining Aura, but it's gonna catch up anyway pretty soon. 30 damage, 1.2 attack delay. Yeah, this sounds better. 
Let's go bash some people. Oh, where's the way down? Also, I got the divine shield right there. Let me go read his description. Manifests a blindingly bright shield in front of the user. Held aloft by the shining one's power, it will unerringly block the next several attacks, which could be blocked by a mundane shield. Ranged attacks will be reflected and melee attackers have a chance of being briefly blinded by the resulting flash of light. This shield will block only a limited number of attacks before vanishing, with invocation skills uh, uh, increasing how many. Oh, interesting. Huh. I guess because the other one just lasted for quite a while and gave you more shield value. I guess this works better for people that don't have shields, right? Which I mean is this character. I've got a giant spike. Well, not spiked yet. Giant club. Uh let's pull these guys around the corner. Wait, they can see me still. Oh, so many priests. Like three of them there. Uh, oh, hmm. Guess I get the hand axe of flame. I don't really have a way of killing Hydras yet. I think I just try to get throwing for that, though. I don't think I'm going to use the hand axe, but I'll carry it around for a while anyway. Alright, where's the way down? Oh, three identify? How did I get so many? Wait, did I pick up? I think I just picked up three. So I've got a scroll teleport. I'll do another scroll. Why not? Amnesia. And some magic. It does cost magic points to do my um, Shining One ability, so I might end up needing some magic potions. And I've got to remember this, uh, is it just rage attacks and melee attacks? Things that can normally be blocked, I think is what it said. Yeah, so I guess that doesn't count, like, getting hit by fireballs or something. Can't reflect those back or something. Oh, hey, Black Bear. I think I should be well truly really tough enough to kill a Black Bear. And water Moxins probably aren't as much of a problem anymore, actually. Say that, but I'm missing the Water Moxin. Oh, I might drink a cure again. How hard is it to hit those Water Moxin? Come on. Gotta be. Oh, 50%. Mmm. Ah, oh, I think I might berserk up here. Oh. Okay, got there in the end, but no, those are not easy to hit. Uh, uh right, my fighting goes up really fast because, of course, um, Oni. Oh, there. Extra fighting aptitude. But, uh, fighting does help me with accuracy, so it's not too bad. Oh, man, so many whites. Well, actually, whites are good. Whites are free piety. I'll take as many whites as the game wants to throw at me. I think these little uh, Uftubus guys are free party as well. Although they're actually more dangerous than they used to be, I think they got buffed up a little bit, if I remember correctly. It was a little while back though now. Um... They actually can pose a little bit of threat, but they used to be pretty harmless. Man, I need like a unique so I get an excuse to use my shield, see if it's any good. I mean, I don't want something too tough, but I still want an excuse to try out this new divine shield. Oh, a healing potion, nice. Uh, what is that spear? Freezing, alright. Uh, I see the guy. I'm done with dungeon level 6, but I got a really early shining when I think with this character. Where was my tempo anyway? Oh, whoops, of course, searching for T isn't gonna work. It's on dungeon level 5, so like not as early as it could have been, but it was still really early. Like, it could have been on dungeon level 4. Hey, another healing potion, nice. I thought it was doubled in effectiveness, or was I imagining that? No, they are doubled in effectiveness. Okay, good. I know that like it's been changed around a bit and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's the Onis that get that now. Of 
Because it what, what used to be the Arbitors, but now they get to uh, heal up when they roll at people. I think I've played Arbitor forever. I want to go here. Got Longsword, Vampiric Addict, and a Club. Nothing good. No Giant Spike Clubs. The Giant Spike Clubs that are for sale tend to have really high enchantment bonuses. So actually, finding one for sale wouldn't be too bad at all. Oh, Mason Flail's on 10. Uh. Gotta get a bit of invocations. I got a plus two energy, which isn't too bad. I might just get five, though. Oh, yeah, I've got the cleansing plane, but has that been changed or is that the same? I think that's the same, right? Yeah, looks like it is. Power of the Blast, increase invocation, sure. It does more to like undead demons. It looks the same. More armor I can't wear, but that's, uh, that's all the life for you to see all the armor you can't wear. That's a decent size, like, overflow vault. Is that, like, ten gods? It's probably similar to what I got in my temple. Ooh, an acquirement. Um. Hmm. Let me go train up. 10 armor skills, is that too much? I just want to, like, bias the acquirement towards giving me heavier armor. Um, I don't know if that's going to quite work, but I'll give it a try. Oh, kind of surrounded by these guys. Ooh. I might drink a curing. Yeah. I know it's just a little awkward, but it does have a venom mace. Um... So I think if I left that, I uh, keep on damaging people to be bad with the orc. All right. Uh, go back to the proper staircase, but I doubt I'll end up going up it. Oh, hey there, Kane Toad. Um, that's got venom as well, which I don't like. Um. Can I mind bust it a little bit before it gets up to me? Maybe. Oh yeah, actually it's seated really well, but that was mainly luck rather than anything. Oh, maybe I should have put on my divine shield. Anyway, it died before it really got up to me, so didn't need to. No using the acquirement, I will uh soon uh twenty there. But I've just got I tried to get a little bit of armor first to try and bite us towards heavier armor. I don't know. Maybe I've been silly. Maybe I should just read it. Might give me a giant spike club or something, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean I probably should just read it, but I don't know. I don't want it to give me like a robe or something. Uh I gotta try out my dry shield. See if it does much. Hey, look at that. It reflect that guy's poison back. Wait, it blinded that guy as well. Nice. Yeah, well, that made those kind of easy. Uh, is there anything else I can fight while I've still got my divide shield up? Ooh, whole bunch of gnolls. Oh, it's gone already, is it? I think? Or how do I tell? Maybe it didn't last very long. I'm not sure. This is like food closet here with a... Snoz converted? It's absolutely putrid. But I go for a second anyway? What? Apparently I like putrid things. Are skills influencer a uh, result of an acquirement? Yeah, they do. Only the first time you read it, though. Um, so it tries and gives you, uh, like, arm you're skilled in or weapons you're skilled in, that sort of thing. Which is nice. That it doesn't just give you useless junk or something. But it also does mean sometimes if you don't have a skill because you're waiting for heavy armor and then you don't get heavy armor because you don't have the skill for it, it can be a little bit sad. Anyway, how am I going with that armor? Eh, Alright. Some cooked up meat. Give me some meat. Uh, candy coated scorpion. Alright, I'll take one of those.
Wait, did I get another Sasuke buff? I'm pretty sure I did that. Yeah, give me another Sasuke buff. What's the chance of getting like two of those in a row? Unless that would only give Sasuke buffs. Also, what's up with this guy? Um, it's got a K. Okay. It's got a net. I try the Divine Shield. I'm not sure about this. Oh, so I get three shield. I get a huge amount, but that's all right. I might Ice Blast on these guys. There we go. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a lot of guys, though, just bearing down to me. That's why it's pretty good at giving you a rare weapon that you care about. Yeah, otherwise it would just, like, give you a, I don't know, a rare... Tank or something, or tank cannon, or whatever it's called, for a non archer character or something. No, it does definitely does a very good job of making sure it gives you ones you can use. Although it does sometimes throw in random ones just because it can. Um. And I think, like, gnolls kind of just get random ones, but I guess that's not too bad for a gnoll, seeing they can actually use them. What's up with this guy? He's thought we just dodge and charming. Yeah, I'll go bash it up. Oh, wait. Hold on, I should be pulling this guy the arch around the corner, of course. They should just be letting it shoot at me the entire time. Uh... How's that? Oh, do I really bring the arm all the way up to 10? I feel like maybe that was a bit too much. I don't know. Oh, well, I'll do it anyway. If you initially do a bad plan, that's a good idea to stick to it, right? I don't know. It's not a terrible plan. It's just a skill. If it doesn't give me armor, the skill won't be useful for quite some time. Actually, I haven't found many like acid dragons or something because it could be all right with one of those. Ooh, Erica. I mean, nah, I can't. Wait, she says reason would be justified if not for me? I don't get that. I don't get what she's trying to say, but I'm going to run away. Uh, she could take a shortcut there, I think, through that water, but it doesn't really matter. I'm out of there already. Because they don't have any poison resist. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to... I think not... Uh, well, that's seven skills enough. Let's get some more fighting and maces and flails, but I'll find out what I actually need after I grab the acquirement. It's got, uh, it doesn't even have shields. It's got a ring of poison resist. Ooh, that might make a difference. I might grab that, actually. I also got a thousand money, but I think the ring of poison resist resist negative and dex plus six is the way to go here. There's also an orb of light, but I'm using a two-handed weapon, so that doesn't really help. Um, might better kill Erica with that one, but I'll still not fight her immediately. Oh, I got mitered, sure, and slowed. Right. All the various chaos effects. There's Erica again. Pull her around the corner. Oh, oh she slowed me. I won't put on Divine Shield. Hey, give me five shield this time now. Now that I've trained up a little bit of invocations, I guess. Oh, please hit. Ooh, okay. It's all right. Oh, my attack delay is really slow, isn't it? When I'm slowed like that. But I still got a... I think I did need a divine shield. Oh, I'm going to resist corrosion out of it. I guess I'll take one of those. And there's also grub around here, I can tell, because of all those hounds. Yeah, there he is. Uh, I think this is going all right. I don't think I'm going to die there. Got to remember this character. They've got basically no defense, though. So. Amulet the Acrobat. I'm not wearing an amulet, so sure. I'll put one of those on. Um, Could Curari this guy? I guess I'll Curari this guy. They can be bad with their damage, but yeah, they don't live massively long. Ooh. I think I take it out with an Ice Blast. I think that's going to be alright. For how much damage you can do. Um, what's the cost of the shield? It's a small amount of piety. Maybe. I mean, it's saying about the same as like cleansing, uh, 
Cleansing Flame. I don't think it's changed from what it used to be, unless I'm mistaken, so I don't think it's too bad. I can probably do bees, right? Maybe. But it looks like it scales really well with the... Oh, Rogue Wolpel's all right. It scales really well with the... um, Like the, the Invocation skill. Because it was only giving like two initially, although it's probably a slight random range. Oh, um, I don't have a fire resist, do I? Uh, what can I do? I can put a little divide shield that can that be blocked? I'm not sure it can. Oh, trolls are ridiculously hard if you have no defenses. Yeah, because they get lots of attacks, right? I don't know if I can block her main attack. I guess I can just flatten her and take her Steam Dragon armor. What's better, the Steam Dragon armor, which is more protective, or the willpower? Let me look at the Steam Dragon armor. If I mean, four more, I can't say no to four more armor class, even if I lose the willpower. I think I need it with this character. Also, why is my evasion buffed? Oh, Acrobat, right, of course. That's not going to be happening when I'm fighting, though. That's just when I'm wandering around. I'll pull this guy back to wherever the closest corridor is. This one will do. Oh, uh, oh, troll. Hold up. I got a Curari. I totally should hit it with a Curari. All right, where do I get the throwing? Um, next, I think. Next skill will probably be throwing. Ooh. Another tough thing. Another hoarder. Got poison this. I, oh, do I divide shield anyway? I think so. I blinded it. Well, that's something. Uh, there's not really a proper choke point here, so I'm just going to have to fight the bees as they come, I think. I'm trying to stick to the choke point, but I'm not seeing any more bees, so it's probably not too much point. Oh, there's another bee. Oh, the divine chips. Shield seems super strong in a 1v1. Yeah, because otherwise you're just going to go through the blocks too quickly, right? But I guess in a 1v1, you're at least you're not taking too many attacks. And it probably depends, like, how many attacks the creature gets. I might go down once more and then... Oh, hey, the Manticore. Can I pull it a bit closer? Oh, a little bit closer. <sighs> ah, it's a bit better. Ow. I think it's fine. Cyan ugly thing. Um I think I fight it with a divine shield on. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I think expecting that to do a bit more damage to me. Uh given that I've got basically no defenses, but I guess that's fine. Uh I think I run here. The Santor will get some shots against me. And if I go back down, I should be able to pull the gargoyle back up. Oh, except I'm taking damage from that centaur. Oh, come on. I don't know. I mean, I guess that worked in the end. I got the centaur, but not the way I expected that to work. Whoa. I can't even cleanse these guys. This would be perfect for some cleansing. Um, Do I try it anyway? Probably not. What do I do to these guys? I feel like it has oh, 40% failure. Surely I shouldn't give that a go. I think I actually got a retreat. Um, I gotta split those up somehow. Like that that's just a ridiculous number of centaurs to be in one spot. Oh dear, it's not splitting them up. Hey, that's a bit better. I said I did take a bit of damage doing that. Hmm. Let's try and stick away from those centaurs for a while. Just let them try and split up naturally, I guess. Hopefully that works. I like to look at that dispersal trap. Uh, nothing's gonna move into it yet. But there was nothing, like, in the right sort of area.
Oh, there we go. There's something that moved into it. Oh, no. Manticore? Um, can I just charm, like, you know, the border beetle, which is 30% of the manticore, which is, oh, 30%. I think your vulnerability might bring it up to, like, 50%. Um, 49%. Yeah, let's just Mm. Can't move right now. I'll just tell my ball to be able to run away. Oh, there we go. I can move again. No longer get barbed up because I... I mean, I got a lot of health. I might be able to move anyway with the barbs, but... What's so mean? You're throwing all these creatures at me? It doesn't even give me any cover here, so I just gotta... Oh, man. <laughs> I, mean, I guess that guy would splat at least. It's kind of what I'm lacking though, the most is uh, somewhere to hide around corners and pull things out. It's just a very, very open level with like rage creatures on it as well. Um, I can identify. I've got this thing, blinking, which is great. I could definitely do those. There's some resistance as well. Also pretty good. Is that what is that base protection? It's probably still not going to compare with a giant club. In fact, I have found very few ogres this time round. Yeah, it was like the single ogre. Oh, there's a cyclops. I don't think those have giants fight clubs though. Um, it does have some rocks maybe? Hey, look at that! Three giant rocks. Um, I might actually get to trading the throwing right now. I think. Please give me some ass of dragon armor. Nope. Okay. I would have minded some. It's probably more protective than my current steam dragon scales. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, what have we got? Fire wand? That'll do the trick. Whew. I think this is still fine. Got some good heads on me, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, pull this way around the corner. Oh, it will petrify me. It's fine. It's already dead, so there's nothing to damage me. What have we got? Curing's good. Uh, I can't afford it as well. There's also a scroll of poison. And an emerald potion. I might grab the emerald potion and the curing right now. I think this has all been little guys and a big problem. This is the one I'm worried about, though. The one with the curari and it just died. Ah, uh, should curari the troll still, I think. Oh, missed or something? I think I missed, but I think I also lost my curari, unfortunately. But I'm still back up to two. Huh. Good old Santos. Um, right, and that's dungeon level 11 done, so time to head into lair. Oh, Gastrook immediately. He's got a plus one hat of willpower. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try and mind bust somebody. No, he's got the willpower. I might just mind bust. No. Hold on, can I charming this other dude and then we both go and beat up Gastronoic? Where is Gastronoic? I know he's slow. There he is. Oh, um, I'm actually going to move forwards and put on my Divine Shield because that means uh, he can't airstrike me as effectively. There we go. He's blind. He slowed me though. And he's dead. Excellent. He hits really hard sometimes though. But it just does mean I can put on his hat. Which is great, because I... Uh... Wait, my oh, my guy's no longer charmed. Oh, I'll keep back putting on my hat. It's not going to do too much to me. 
Do I just, like, enchant the hat up to plus two? I think I do. I mean, I'm kind of vaguely saving the enchant armor for a hair set of heavy armor, but... I think this hat I'm probably going to keep for a pretty long time. If not the entire game. Oh, I got another enchant armor anyway. Hey, what did I get? I got to grab the... Tamarind? What's a tamarind? Apparently it's juicy. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Um, I do have a number of choke points. I might just bring it back to the convenient one over here. Oh, the nice hat delivery service. Yeah, I pretty much immediately got a hat going into here. Oh, they figured out how to get to me. Um, I think I retreat. I just rely on the acrobat to try and retreat me a bit better. Mm, I'm feeling a little wounded, but these are just yaks. I think I can just kill them. Or maybe not. Can I... Oh, hold on. Like, nah, I can't kill these. I just gotta create some space. And get... I guess I go all, all the way back to the staircase. That's been... I mean, the Yanks themselves weren't too bad. It was just... Uh, I got wounded previously when I was fighting them. Uh. Okay, another identify. So, might as well do it on something I've got a bit of. Three lignifications, which if I drag that, I gain more defense, uh, more hit points. Yeah, it's basically just busting me up, and it might be really good if I fight. Well, that's fine. Uh, I'll try bring up Nerdjo, I think. Might be really good if I find a shark, though, having that. Ooh, a rope of resistance. Hmm, I won't put it on right now because it would lose me, like, four armor class, but if I find a volcano or an ice cave or something along those lines, definitely put on a rope of resistance. Oh, Black Mamba. Hmm. I think it's fine, but I know those ones could be tough. So how's that throwing going? Oh, almost 10. I just, I uh, really don't want to... Oh, no, I found the shaft. I just really don't want a Hydra next to me, so I'm trying to bring up the throwing event so I can hopefully kill a Hydra with some giant rocks in the face. Or faces, I guess, with the case of, the, of a Hydra. Ah. Uh... You know, this guy could do with some giant rocks as well. Alright, so let's go back to the base of flowers and the fighting. Those are both two good things to get. I don't think I get a cloak yet, so a plus two cloak is amazing. Did I see it? I didn't see an up staircase. Right, so let's keep on exploring until I find one. I don't care about a plus zero whiff of protection. I don't even think I need the resist negative. I'm pretty sure I had that anyway. From my uh, ring that's giving me poison resist. Also, doesn't the shiny one give that? I'm not sure if they give it just yet. They do, I think. Yeah, so I actually got two resist negative. Oh, I've got a swamp for when I want to go to that. Um, hey, there's the Hydra. Who I missed. Oh, it doesn't do a lot of damage. I wonder how quick it's going to get through the sub shield. Yep, the shield's gone. It's blinded, though. Okay. Just an escape hatch. Um, hmm. I 
This is... This is a corridor. I think I just fight these guys in the corridor. Rather than trying to take the escape hatch. Oh, I prob mm, probably should do the curing. I'm getting kind of wounded. Don't want to let that poison seep in and do quite a bit of damage to me. Oh, another Hydro. I mean, I've still got rocks. 80% dead, I guess. And I got boomerangs, which can probably finish it off. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, maybe the party gate is slow though with the shining one. Oh, they seem very uh, good apart from the annoying contacts. Um, only three stars by less seems very little. Yeah, I guess so. Right, because your party gate is uh, mainly be better and extended. The party gate on good gods is a little bit strange because um. Most gods, it's relative, to, it's, you get a party based on, like, the enemy's toughness relative to your own. Whereas with the Shining One and all the other good gods, when you kill a creature, the piety cane is just based on the toughness of the creature, so it goes up as you gain levels. Also, I just went up to four pips of piety just then. Uh, that looks like somewhere where I might need some fire resist. All right, one more snake down. Oh, what are they called? Lava snakes? Yeah, okay, sure. They are actually snakes. That's what my steam dragon now back on. So the snake pits isn't too bad. That's somewhere I should be able to go. Uh, I think this is still fine. Corrosion's not going to hurt my damage. It's going to hurt my accuracy, though. So I guess uh, directly that hurts my uh, damage. Gee, what is my damage? 41? Oh yeah, pretty good damage. Man, I hope this character finds better for Assault, because I'd love to go extended, because I have with the Shining one, right? And, um, how often do you get to use Manifold Assault these days? Not that often. Alright, well, it's last three done. I'm just gonna... Wait, am I going up or down? I think I'm going down, but I'll check upstairs. Okay, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I haven't finished the second level of the lair yet, because I got shafted. There's... Oh, there's Manifold Salt for when I need it, which will be an extended. Um, Evening Star? Probably not that good. I'll check it out. Let's see. 31 damage, 0.7 attack delay... Oh, it's point eight attack delay already. No, I don't think that's worthwhile. I mean, it's one-handed, so if I wanted to go shield, that would definitely be worthwhile if I had a good shield. Um, But what's the point of playing an Oni if you're not going to use the whole giant clubs, right? Oh, hey, a little mirror here. In case I want to mirror up a uh, and Hydra or something in the swamp, because I do have the swamp. And what, a 50% chance or 30% chance? Something like that of getting a Lunar and Hydra when you get a swamp. Oh, hey, Lunar, why don't I have any fire resist? Uh, I want a little bit more invocations. I might just bring that up to 10. See how much more Divine Shield that gets me when I do a Divine Shield. And also probably bring the Cleansing Flame Reliable as well, which can be nice. I don't need a Sea Invisible. But I think one of my rings is already giving me Sea Invisible to add to what I've already got from the Shining One. Uh, I think that's as close as I could have pulled that guy. I'm a pile drive. I mean, I guess I could. But unfortunately, his damage is not based on my weapon, so it probably wouldn't actually do that good of damage. But if you get it early enough, I guess it does all right damage, but nah, probably not going to do that much for this character. Anyway, let's go down. It's a Minotaur. I've got a, I've got a thing. I've got a Revelations. So I might just identify a couple of things first, though. So I've got... Ow, oh, D-Gen. Ah, I get class inventory space, I guess. And I've got... Might. Well, Might's all right. But it doesn't do that much bonus damage when you already do so much. I'll drop I'll drop the hand axe. I'm not gonna be killing hydrants with that one. I'll leave the amnesia outside as well. Alright, that's probably everything I want to drop, and then I can just magic map my way 
to this Minotaur. Oh, it's the other side of the level. Although, if I try one of those other staircases, not this one, this staircase, Oh, that gets me close, but there's also Rupert. 20% of paralysis. Oh, you found a pile driver useful for when you're surrounded. Oh, did you just pile driver again? You're not anymore? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Huh. Why did Leiden? Oh, he's berserk already? Ah, uh, it's a great sort of holy rat. He does 55 damage. Wait, plus 81 holy? But that's not going to affect me, right? <laughs> I hope not. Um, uh, do I find him right now or do I go up? I think I stick around. Oh, my divine shield. Mirror map, okay. Kills other little guy. So now I think he's fighting his mirror for a little while. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's a good thing I wasn't, I don't know, who would be affected by Holy Wrath, Demon Spot or something, or Mummy. I gotta go heal up. There we go. So I hear the loud beating of the drum, but I still think, oh, oh maybe I won't get to it. I was gonna say it'd be easy to get to, but look at all these death yaks. Because that's gonna force me to go to a different staircase. Oh, mm. oh well, I guess I gotta. Thunderous beating. Oh, the divine shield is so good in first Rupert. Yeah, because the kid's not blocking his attacks, and he does like massive damage attacks, so. I was blocking a lot of damage. Oh, that might not have been a good idea going down to that. Uh, oh no, I think that was a silly idea. Do I do a fear? Might. I don't want to quite get all of them. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to lose my place anyway, so let's go to the staircase. Yeah, I mean, it's gone. That's a shame. All those death yanks would have made it so impossible, though. Like, you couldn't have gone back down the same staircase. Alright, is that how rat was piety? Hey, it is worth piety. Nice. Uh. Cat of Bleef is on the other hand. I think this is still fine, but there's a lot of hell rats. A oh, Rupert has a more talisman, but no more form auxiliary attacks? Wait, actually? Huh, strange. Maybe the talismans don't work quite right on the enemies. Or, actually, I don't think they technically use the talisman right. They just drop them when you kill them. Can I just mind burst this guy? Not really. I'm just even trying to hit it. It isn't working. I'm just going to pull on my Divine Shield. That's a shame, because I was, uh... Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite killing that guy for some reason. Alright, what do I want? I want more fighting. Because it's cheap. I want more Mace of Flowers, because I always need more Mace of Flowers. What is the bin delay on this thing, anyway? It's 18. Right, so it's not actually that high, but the... The spiked variety is, like, 24 or something. Uh, this whole area full of it is full of uh, bears and beasts and stuff. So I might just leave this till I've done the rest of the level and come back for it, I think. Oh, enemies don't use talismans, so they just drop them? Yeah, that makes sense. It's a bit of a flavor fail. <laughs> I mean, imagine Rupert with an auxiliary attack, though. I wouldn't want to fight that. Rupert's bad enough already. Also, I could have got in here and had a choke point. It doesn't really matter. These guys are dying. They're regular old yaks. Um, oh, the level split. Oh. That's fine. It's 
Good thing my staircase will battle that other side, though. Because uh, I didn't really have a lot of other options. I got some identifiers here. I might be able to identify something. As in the scroll, enchant weapon. I don't, oh, I don't have a spike club yet. Usually it's really easy to get the weapons I need to enchant. Because you just grab it off any old ogre, really. But not today. Oh, you think because it would make him a lot better versus Divine Shield having an auxiliary attack? Yeah, it certainly would. Because it's basically it's like a certain number of attacks. It's not um, basically a certain amount of damage or anything. So it's basically just really good against things that get less attacks. I might just heal up before I fight this guy. Now, oh, what's this little Rupert's uh, great sword and stuff? Unfortunately, he doesn't have a giant spike club. Not that I think Rupert can use all those. Also, maybe not, unfortunately, because imagine Rupert damaging with a giant spike club. Um, that would not be pleasant. I was like, you have two lands and fives with those two endings? That really is. I don't think Hydra noticed me. I might pull the other guy around the corner. No, no, God, uh, it almost feels like two big groups of creatures as well. At least this side is the uh, one that gets two staircases, the one with the death yaks. Uh, got a boomerang. I've got acid resist. I think I can kill this blood. I know it'll be a Gibraltar. 100% that's going to be a Gibraltar. Yeah, it is. No surprises there, though. I know it's a Hydra down here, so I really don't want to be just running up or anything. I just want to be pulling back the Death Yaks. Uh, there we go. There's a Hydra with my rocks. Oh, six of them now. I gotta love rocks. Um, ooh. I'm gonna sleep here. Um, that's. Rock that guy. There we go. Pull this guy around. I don't think the, the one that puts me to sleep noticed me. I don't have a choke point, do I? Yeah, well, I'll just use whatever I've got. Oh, actually, I can hit it with a club. It's uh, just taking out my weapon, but no, a club works just fine. It's not like I'm using a, I don't know, something that would chop in its head, like an axe or something, give it more heads. Um, Done this side. Let's go back to the other side. Go back to my other lair ending here. This one's probably makes it worth wearing the resistance. Oh, I do lose a decent amount of armor class. But it's always the fiery guys in here, um, with the hell guys and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> Don't have a dingy or something, do I? I got two. Um, hmm. I don't know if it would get quite far enough. What happens if I dig this way? Actually, that's not too bad. I was a bit of a shame. I was just hoping I wouldn't have to use something, but it looked like if I stayed where I was, two guys would be in trouble. And now I've got a choke point I can bring everyone back to because it's. Oh, that's why I work with Catapleafus, though. Uh, there we go. Except this guy, of course, gets behind me. The electric guy, Rashaza. Um, I think I need a Divine Shield. Hopefully that lasts a while. Oh. Does this guy loves lots of attacks? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, claws twice. Oh, it's got a little claws. Uh, hmm. Can I? I'll kill this one and I'll slow the next one down and run away, I think. 
Oh, the hell to the San Diego Nazi? Yeah, that's why I put all the... I think it's usually only one, though, right? That's why I put all the fire and the star, but, but it doesn't help my armor class. So it doesn't help against all these other guys. These polar bears and stuff. Man, those two little extra attacks they've got, though, really do eat through the Divine Shield. Uh, what have we got up here? I might clear out the slash because some hell guys. Fair enough. What is the actual tragedy going to be? It's hard to really tell just by looking at that. It's kind of want to stick close to my choke point because it's not going to give me one naturally. Never does the same thing. Right, what's next? Another bear. <laughs> seems that seems a little silly bring one back to my choke point. It's just I think if I didn't, I'd get even more of them come along and I'd be surrounded by bears and uh yeah, that would probably not end very well at all for me. What have we got here? Another Revelations? I've got a cloak. I've got a really good cloak, actually. Oh, the Balak Sash. It's not a Giant Spike Club. This is one of the few characters looking out for Giant Spike Clubs. Most characters don't. Ooh, Direlfant. I think I can slow that with a Curare. Uh, there we go. Hey, it's one hope. How's it going? How's your, um, what is it? Evening going? I'm gonna get, I think it's evening, right? Let's pull these guys back. Have you tried the new shining one there, Zvorn Hope? Well, there's not really a whole new shining one. It's a new divine shield. So instead of actually giving you shield now, it blocks the next so many attacks, like say five or something, depending on your invocations. Oh, plus 10 bad likes. Oh, the sleepy 23 o'clock. Ah, yes, that would be. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely evening, right? Uh, more like nighttime, actually, I guess, at that point. I'm gonna check this out. I don't think it's very good. 40 damage? Nah. I mean, it does cleave, but it's less damage than what I'm doing already. It's, I think, a worse attack delay, way worse. Right, stuck, stuck with Mountain Dwarf? Mountain Dwarfs are fun, though. It's not the worst thing to be stuck with. No, I think I had one of those. When did I have one of those? Uh, not too long back, I was playing well, though, so it was pretty good. Oh, man, that's a lot of fire. <laughs> Doesn't seem to care about blowing up its own friends, either. Which I guess is fine for me. I'll take the choke point while it's here. I don't think there's going to be anything too bad. Excellent. Well, that was actually a lot of stuff for that land. Let's just go to... I don't think I've done dungeon level 12. Oh, Skeletal Warriors. Uh, not quite free piety, these ones, but they are piety, so that's something. Oh, actually, speaking of piety, I'm up to five pips of piety. So, almost at the point where I can brand something with Holy Wrath, not that I've got anything to brand... Also, you can kind of tell how non-linear the piety is, because look at that, I'm missing two spaces of glowing, so I'm not actually that close to maxing out, because you have to get, um, max out your glowing radius. Oh, you found Jeeva earlier, and did a slime dwarf. Nice. No, Jeeva's, I mean, you miss out on, like, portions and scrolls, but Jeeva's fun. I mean, if you can, t if you can get an early Jeeva, might as well. Ooh. Oh, it does not synergize, but it's fun. Oh, I guess that's true. You don't get all the enchant armors, do you? And enchant weapons, because they all get eaten. <laughs> it's just kind of dwarfs thing. Although, you do still get all the artifacts, so... In terms of being on enchant artifacts, you will get them, at least. Well, same chance as anyone else, I guess, of getting them. That's my orcish minds. I'll finish this level, then I'll do it. Also, that... Ogre just had a normal giant club, right? Mm, yeah, looks like it. 
Now these spiked varieties for me to re uh, chant up. Although that being said, I've still got the lair to go and they can sometimes have some good clubs. Oh, invisibility. <laughs> good old invisibility on a shining one character. I'm the only character that can't use it, right? Just shining one character. Oh, this looks okay. Don't think I need a divine shield. No, nah, I've got these under control. Oh, but you can't upgrade since you never get the scrolls. Yeah, definitely. Definitely with it. With Jeeva. It's interesting how they, like, kept that quirk of the old jellies of, like, eating items, but only for actual Jeeva characters. Because it used to be just, like, the jellies would eat items and then split. And if you got a level with, like, one jelly on it, could, like, split and take over the whole level. It was kind of funny. Whereas now that already happens with uh, Jiva. I gotta pull this guy all the way back, don't I? Oh, how far do I have to pull it back? No way I can kill two of these guys at once, so... That doesn't lead through, does it? I see where I've got to go. Uh, good, it doesn't, it's not the one with the pull up. <laughs> it's worried again, like, both of them trying to get at me at the same time or something. Oh, I've got to put on my Divine Shield. Hey, it gave me six Divine Shield this time round. And I barely even touched it, because apparently it stopped hitting me after I got my first hit on it. Oh, it's kind of annoying because it, it makes you want to manual explore and upon everything to try and get it before the jellies do. Yeah, I usually just don't worry about it, but I guess actually aponting everything probably would be the thing to do if you could with Jeeva. I'm going to go to, not the lair, the orcish mines. Come on, there's got to be some ogres in here. There's been a real ogre shortage this game. I found two ogres in the first 12 levels of the dungeon. Which usually wouldn't be a problem, but... Uh, okay, I'll bring some of these closer. That's probably a good number to pull up. I don't have another staircase, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to go back down this one. Alright. I don't think a Divide Shield's quite as good in here. So I should find that Ice Cave, shouldn't I? Um, am I still wearing my fire to the storm? That's probably not a bad idea, actually. Because you get the guys that do hit with fire. There was an Ice Cave, right? Distant Crackling. Oh, I might magic map it. Oh, it's not actually that distant. Like, right here. If I only got one color of this, I uh, can't get another. That's magical power, which I probably don't need. Anything I could drop, I could drop the bad lags. Oh, that's actually, actually is color of this. Hmm. I'd actually have to check that one, see if it's worth using. I doubt it, right? That's my chart weapon. I can drop the invisibility. Let me go take a look at this. So, 1.1 attack delay, 43 damage compared with 48 damage, 0.7 attack delay. Oh, so much worse attack delay. So wearing the robe, yep, yep, definitely am. So I got one call for this from that. Yeah, I was worried though because there's like guys that either do fire damage. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. It's free piety though. Look at all these undead. means I can probably use... Actually, I can summon an angels if I needed to. Uh, and I get health back when I kill things. So this isn't too bad, I guess. I maybe a bit more worried than I need to be. I think one cold resist is enough. Huh? It's nice how it let me get next to the statue. Yeah, because it makes it so much easier. Uh, I did get slowed, but I think that's alright. I might put on Divine Shield. 
just in case. Also, I'm maxed out of piety, so like, why not, right? I can't wear the helmet. I can brand up something. I still don't have anything to brand. I'll probably leave that until later on until I'm trying to um get like a Holy Wrath Giant Spike Club or something. I'll pull this guy back. So the freezing hydrants can hit for a reasonable amount. Or sometimes an unreasonable amount if you have no cold resist. Uh, everywhere just leads past this cold rider thing. I don't think there's a, another way on. Ooh, Reaper. Um, huh, that's fine. I might just get out a friend, though. Ooh, I think this is fine. I can put on the divine shield, but I don't need to just yet. And it's dead. Um, the robe of cold resist. I just got a ring of cold resist. What is my ring currently? It's like resist acid or something. If there was any more left of this place, I could probably put that ring on. Ooh. I think there's a little safe spot in here. I can get my health back in. And that's just plain armor, unfortunately. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I believe I've done. So there's a minus four scythe. There's Robocall resist. There's anything I need to switch around? I don't think so. I think I just get out of here. But that wasn't too bad. Oh, there's a weapon shop. Maybe I have a giant spike club. It's got a Demon Trident, Demon Blade, Morning Star. I think I've even got an Evening Star if I needed it, but no Giant Spike Clubs in there. This is probably still worth, worth wearing my robe. Maybe. Um, also, where's the actual staircase? It's this way. Uh, it's not great with these archers. Mm. Oh, I'm putting on divine shield. Because that reflects back to bolts, so like it just kills them. Also, how long does this stick around for? No description? That doesn't say anything. Does it just stick around till it's used? Which, I mean, it always will get used. Interesting. It might, actually, because it didn't seem to time out while I was resting or anything. Uh, I don't have another staircase, do I? I mean, I kind of do, maybe. If I use my magic map and I dig, or if I use my escape patch, the escape patch is dodgy. Oh, I might just do the magic map and dig. It's a shame. It's my last dig, but whatever. Oh. That's too far. I think that's too far as well. Yeah. Oh, I guess escape patch it is then. Oh, no. Look at that. Uh, sure. I'm gonna... Go to start teleport, but I might do the fear first. Yeah, I got a decent amount of them running away. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's... Oh, there's my teleport. Okay. Next teleport, I guess. Uh, maybe. My vagina spike club? Nope. I just have an angel. Oh, I'm getting smited, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could just kind of wait it out in here, I think.
Okay. Huh. What do they got through? I'm going to put on Divine Shield and just hit this one. My Dave is fine, right? I don't seem to be wounded. <laughs> and I feel like my Dave is basically soloing this area, and all I've got to do is survive. All right, what have we got over here? Nothing. <laughs> A random great mace could be ridiculous. Who knows? Right, there is one. Wait, is this a random great mace in here? Oh, there is two. 41 damage. It's actually pretty similar to what I've got, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it could be good. I'll take a look at the other stuff, but no, it's a good point. Could keep me going till I get a better weapon. Um, curing's always good. A charm weapon's probably going to be good. Ooh, what is that? Magic regen, willpower, rampage, resist, electric amulet. That's minus four end, but still. Willpower's needed. Resist electric's needed. Rampage is good. I'll probably grab that at some stage. Um, in fact, I might go grab it right now because I looked at all my shops, right? And then I'll try the Randart Great Mace, see if that's anything good. I could also try one of those rings of potential or something if I wanted. How much money have I got? I don't think I've got enough for both of those. Tried the I tried the Randall Great Mace, see what it is. Uh it's the Sorshin, which the shiny one doesn't approve of. It's also already plus zero, so yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> I guess the protection probably would have been better, but hey, I didn't know that. <laughs> I got smitten. Oh, the Amulet, uh... Oh, the Amalouf? It's like, almost Amulet. I don't think you get an Amulet that's just called Amulet. I looked at the shop, haven't I? Yeah, I think I have. Um... Whew, that's a bit of damage. This is getting smitten by my Dave, and I think I've got two more ways up before I finish this area. Which unfortunately, I lose my Dave on the way up. Hey, it's an ogre. So that's my... What was that? My third ogre or something? Well, I've still got a tiny bit more to find ogres. There's no way I don't get a giant spike club. Like, the yeah, yeah, surely. I should, I should bring this down. Uh, can I go the wrong way on the staircase, but it's fine. I'll get there eventually. What sort of maces do I have? I've got the Mace of Holy Wrath, Dire Flails, so the Evening Star. Oh, okay. Well, I've got dungeon level 13, 14, and 15. Try and find... More ogres? Still wearing my fire this, is that correct? I don't know, I think it's alright. Ooh. Gotta move back. Um Yeah, so those are gonna get pretty big. Might need to divine shield. There we go, and they end up blind, which definitely helps me out. Where's another way down? Oh, we don't need a Holy Wrath Dagger. We need a Holy Wrath Giant Spike Club. This guy's been giving me all the stab and stuff. It gave me a quick play to like dungeon level one. It's definitely been um, a light weaponry game. Oh, now that I identify, I think I've actually got a decent amount of my stuff identified already. Alright, what have we got? I mean, we've got two of these, two haste. Hey, look at that, Lodel. Lodel's perfect. It's the world's first game without a giant spike club. I mean, Lodel's got to have one for me, right? Because he always has a pack of ogres, so I think I'm, I think I'm good there. I mean, he's got a basic one, right? He's got a... Oh, he's got a dire flail. Huh. Guys have giant clubs. Giant club. Hey, there it is. There's my giant spike club. Excellent. Let's put that one on. I think I don't quite meet the scale requirement for it, so 0.9 um, 
Tag delay, but I'm going to charge it up now. Make it plus three. And I can go drop my evening star and stuff. And I think they have battle legs as well. Oh, hey, another dude. Uh... Who's throwing the rocks at me? The skeletal warrior? Sure. I mean, if it wants to throw pebbles at me, it can, I guess. I gotta regen. I'm not. No, I'm keeping my willpower one on. Well, yeah, my willpower is basically perfectly fixed up with that one. Don't have to worry about it or anything. Oh, I might. Uh, this is a decent spot just to bring everything back to. All right, two more levels of dungeon. Let's see if we get some, what is it, brand weapons now that I'm trying to get? Can get anything apart from, uh, actually, if I do end up with draining or something, it's probably not too bad. Can you even get brands that your god disapproves of? I'm not sure. I think you can, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know if I have. Maybe you can't. Hey, Francis. Just like Iron Shot or something, right? Throw Ice School, Iron Shot, Haste, some Demon. All right. Uh, I don't want to fight a Demons. Get her on her own eventually, and then I can divide shield up because she does like big things that can be blocked, like Iron Shot. So, doesn't do a whole lot, but I've got a divide shield on. Uh, I don't want to throw an ice blast at these guys. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to move up, really, more than anything else. Ooh. Orange Brain does something. No, it's hard to spells. Does Braid by... Oh, Cold is not going to fake me. I might just bring around this corner. Oh. Oh, got a Shadow Creature's off. Oh, I just wanted to step forward. Um, how do I even get to it? I mean, I guess I can cleanse again with a cleanse flame. Not quite. <laughs> Almost got it. There we go. I got the vaults. Is this a silver statue? It's a silver statue. Because there's been some of those statues that have ended up as like just plain metal ones instead of being properly silver. But it seems that one's fine. What's a little dance like doing here? Oh god, I get chamber in or soul. That makes more sense. Yeah, because a little dance like is like way too weak just to be lying around on this level of the dungeon without a reason. Also, I should remember I can throw rocks because I did get like 10 skill or something in the throwing. Alright, got a good old dancing floor. I'm pretty sure I'm immune to negative energy. I don't even know if these skulls gonna hurt me. They could probably bite or something. I can headbutt. That's why they headbutt. I always think of the skulls like biting, but technically they're headbutting you. All right. Well, one more level of dungeon to go. It looks like. Uh. Should start with a rock. Hydras probably can just still do quite a bit of damage even if I kill them quickly. Oh, demon whip. Huh. It's not worth it now that I've got a giant spike club. Also, I would have to like turn it for Trishilla anyway, which I don't plan on doing. I'm melee, they're cleansable, right? Yeah, oh, the shiny one appreciates me killing them because they worship an evil god, I think, but I don't think they get bonus damage from the cleansing flame. They still do die to it pretty quickly because they're mainly based on evasion. I should pull these guys back, otherwise they're going to merge up. 
that a shapeshifter it is too? Like, it had to be a shapeshifter. There's no way there'll be a two-headed ogre with no weapons, right? How to get Ozacube is refrigeration, toxic radiance, and discord. I don't think those are the spells I need. Ooh, hey, Nezzle. He's got the polymorph. Well, the polymorph is usually what you use on him. I got 50%, but I'm still going to give it a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, the spider's way better than um, him trying to shoot me with his longbow. I don't think I need him as a drop of darts. Excellent. Dungeon's done. I've got a fire resist. I've got a poison resist. But I've got a lot of resist right now because i got my rope resistance on. Do I have a better ring, though? Because I probably don't really need the acid resist. I've got the protection one. Yeah, I might go get that. Um, also, I think there's an enchant weapon there, which I should probably go grab as well. Alright. There's, uh, where? There it is. There's a wizardry as well, if I really want to try to get some spells cast more at some stage. Oh, I might put that brilliance on my shopping list. I reckon it will eventually become useful. Alright, where's my charm weapon? So what could that scroll be? Could I just read it? No, it could be butterflies. I don't want to waste, or something. I don't want to waste that. But it could be, oh, don't want to waste the silence either. But it's got a good chance to be branding. All right, well, snake pits it is. Oh. Hey there, everyone. Um. Hmm. I think I try teleport and fight from a different era on the level. Oh, actually, I don't need to teleport today. <laughs> Could have just got to that too, but I might bring out an angel. Oh, constricted. I'm going to have to fear these guys, I think. And stand back with the rocks. Oh no. Um. Do I have resist electric? But that's kind of a lot of guys. I might bring out another angel. Any healing potion yet? I think I'm fine without one for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe not. Maybe not on the teleport there, but I was hoping it would give me somewhere better than that entrance with rocks at and stuff. You know, if I'm not going to get armor... Oh, my... I'm going to drink a cancellation. If I'm not going to get armor, I could go take rocks and statue form. Don't have a D anymore. I might put on Divine Shield and bring out an Angel. Ah. It's a lot of snakes. I don't have a place to hide, do I? Huh. Might be able to cleanse a few of them, we'll see. Oh, 20 mason flails. What was the Mendeley? Can't even remember. I think I need at least 22, though. Let me go check. 22, okay. Oh, I might try and cleanse a few of these. Someone's shooting at me. There it is. Oh, no, don't put me on the pen. That would be a bad idea. I think my age would like immediately leave if I threw a rocket in as well. All right. Hopefully, no more uh, mics or anything for a little while would be nice. Um, I might go kill Roxanne. Do I have a... I have a portion of lignification, right? 
Success is fine. I got a potion of lignification. Let's just throw large rocks at her. Hopefully they'll do the trick. Go boomerangs if it doesn't. Uh... All right, let's go look at this. So it's just a grand eye talisman. And I mean, I'll get the skill first in the giant spike club, maybe. Um, I'll put on divine shield. I'm not sure how long they'll last. This guy is going to need bonus attacks. I mean, there's enough of them around me. I think I need a Clounding Flame. This has just been endless swabs. I'm glad this character is reasonably strong. Otherwise, this entrance could have been the end of the character. Oh, positive energy. I've got uh, that sorted. Well, truly. Oh, throw a rock at this guy. What is actually up with this one? Wand of Acid, I see. I think I took up my Acid Resist, but it looks like it might be fine. Ooh. Might use that last... Magic points put on Divine Shield, which unfortunately I'm losing pretty quick. Where's my Javelins? They're all lined up for it. Okay. This is still fine. Oh, there's more. <laughs> like, but wait, there's more. You're not done with the snakes just yet. Oh, um. Ow, actually. I might drink a healing potion. Uh, I'm out of javelins. Do I have silver javelins? I don't, do I? Didn't pick up the acid mod just yet, but I do have a lightning rod. I'm just not very good with it. I guess I use it anyway. Got what large rocks for this guy? Uh, I mean, I got more large rocks, I guess. That's why I couldn't have picked up my javelins. I guess I don't need the steam dragon armor, don't need the coal for this one. It's a shame my rope for this is more than enchanted, but. Hey, it's still useful. Let's go downstairs, I guess. Um, I'm going to end up next to me, but that's probably fine. Uh, it's just 12 hour because so it's not quite doing the trick. The problem is, how do I get in fire with this if I put on my on like statue form or something? I'm not sure I can very well. Or I might try another staircase for a little while. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Let's get up. Right. Let's try this third one. This might be a little bit better. Ugh, didn't even follow up. Alright, well... Uh, had that guy with a rock as well. I don't know if it was worth moving there. I was just trying to get it somewhere it could double zap me, even if I've got the resistance. Oh, Tropa Darts. I think they're like extra cheap ones as well. Um, do I need another lignification? I'll put it on my shopping list. I've got two more though, so I don't need it immediately. Alright. I'll pull this one up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do I want to go down this uh, one? Maybe? Give it a try. Uh, 
Oh. Not really. Let's try this one then. See if this one's looking. Oh. Not much better, as it turns out. Ooh. How much damage is this wild bite at 40 something damage? Can I take it out with. Hmm. What's the best way to take this guy out, actually? I don't know about an ice blast. I've got. Can I just get it with a net? Might. Ah. I want to find chill and just bash these guys, I think. Right. Must be hit Mendeley. Not point two more to go before I reach Mendeley, yeah. And I don't think you're going to get the statue form till like the end of this branch, possibly. I right, got tons of boomerangs. You can just boomerang this guy, I guess. Hey, so there we go. Most of Flails hit his target. Uh, fighting could go up really easy, but I'm going to try to shape shifting. It's minus one after you. Let's do it. Um, unfortunately, that's probably going to be end up being wasted skill at the end, but um, it's not going to matter in the end, I guess. Uh, now that armor works. Uh, what's the book of movement? It's Gels, Gravot, Vise, Electric Charge. So maybe good in the end. I don't think Iron something I need is um, Lee's Wrap Deconstruct. Anime armor and Magnavolt. No, it's not something I need. We've also got, wait, same old spells with Bombard. Yara's Phantom Raveling. Okay, I don't think I need those. I don't know if I want to keep my distance from the archer or not. Let's move back to the staircase so we can get out of here. Because it's probably better at the archery stuff than I am. I'm only 10 skill on the throwing. A reasonable number of archers. I don't think there's fashion around here though. At least I sure hope not. How's this uh, shape shifting going? Three. I need to get up to it. Actually, did I set a limit of uh, 16? I should set a limit of... Um, I think it might go with 13. That's probably the minimum amount that I should really get before I put on the statue form. Because it's going to make quite a difference in terms of armor class. So I think it's worth getting a little early. Because something that Oddies do have is health. They've got tons of that. So if I lose a little bit of max health, it's not the end of the world. Hmm. Where's the staircase? It's down this way. Uh, sure, I'll set off the alarm trap. Surprised it doesn't come along. I thought it was uh, one guy that... Uh, yeah, this guy. That's the guy I was expecting to come along. He hasn't just had, had got there yet. It was on his way over. Oh, weapon shop. Um, what I'm after is what? I mean, obviously, giant spike clubs. If there's any more of those for sale, but all I really just need is a branding for my current one because it's actually plus four and everything already. It's not too bad. Uh, still got that one scroll. Nothing to identify it though, so don't know if I have branding or not. What is it? A one and. Uh, one, two, three, four, one in four chance that I've got branding on me right now. Well, they're probably not all equal rarity, I guess, so maybe not quite a one in four chance. I 
Does it matter if that guy's smited? I think I just run away. I don't think it matters because I don't think the archer's melee attacks are very good and those Leo wants to benefit from the might. Okay, I've got a, what, two and four chance now I think of having the... Scroll, let's try identify this one. Torment is not that one. The problem is the other one could be something, so I'm not going to use it. See the summoning silence or what was the other option? Oh, Brandic, right, one in three chance. Well, I guess I can identify it. It is, in fact, Brandic, excellent. Let me go use that one, see what I can get here. Freezing, nice. An extra 25% damage, I'll definitely take that. And it sometimes I think can slow these snakes as well. I now one got slowed when I bonked it over the head with the freezing. Alright, seven on the shape shifting. It's like halfway there. Ooh. I'll put on Divine Shield. I don't know if that makes sense or not. So I was losing all my magic points, so if I needed to do some sort of god ability later on, I wouldn't have been able to. Hey, good, a child weapon. I can bring this up to plus five, so it's going to get reasonably accurate. What's my chance of actually hitting one of these guys? 86%? Yeah, I mean, I've got a shining or and everything, so it definitely helps with hitting. I think that guy's slightly faster than me, or maybe slightly slower. Wait, really slightly slower? Travel 71%, and I've tried that by 1.5. That's... No, that should be faster than me. Ooh. This is still fine. I don't like how the archers hasted, though. Just haze it again. Oh, it should be slowed down again now. So it's got a wand of polymorph. It should be able to affect me with that. I'm pretty sure. I got, what, four willpower? Yeah, still four. I go all the way back to the staircase. I was questioning whether I should or shouldn't. I should or shouldn't, but that seems fine. I wish I had a digging here. Um, yeah, some of these are fast, most of these are not. I might get them with a fog. That did not really quite work. Still got mics. <sighs> Right, what's this guy's willpower? Oh, it's got a bit. Uh, this might be a situation for a blinking. I was thinking of like a fear or something. I don't think it quite works. How much damage do these do actually? I think maybe it's alright. I might try a fear. Ooh. I didn't affect these guys, but I affected most of them, so I should just be able to curing up. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to healing potion up actually, because I'm feeling kind of wounded, but um I've still marked, which is a bit of a problem. Because this guardian serpent's still around, that one's causing me some problems. Uh another guy faster than me. Um I just retreat back and then kill it once it gets next to me. I might bring out an angel.
I'll mess me healthy. Let's just try and get back to that staircase without nothing else coming along. There we go. This is the last level, so there should be tons of creatures swarming this level after that mic. Because they would have all been pulled out of that um, rune chamber. Oh, no more strength, of course, because I haven't been an Oni. And I think they... Actually, no, they can get into and stuff. It's on level up. And they can get lots of things. Oh, might again? I might cancel it. Man, I haven't been getting the best luck with the mics today. It's been all about the mics. Okay, I think this is fine, though. Okay, cool. I'll pull these guys back around here. I don't think there's too many of these because these are just little guys. Oh, more digging. That's a nice one to have. Wait. Do I already have a charge? Oh, I guess I did already have one charge of the digging, didn't I? Because, um... I didn't actually end up using that dig in the Orcish Mines earlier, because I was I couldn't dig far enough, that's right. Ooh, actually that's not good. I'm slowed. I want an angel. I want a cure. How did I get slowed there anyway? I guess, no, they kind of cast on me. What did it do to slow me down? I'm actually not sure. Oh. Uh. He's going to do his fiery thing on me, probably. Maybe not. I'm just trying to pull them back a little bit. Might actually just like screw this area up and go do the rest of the level. Make sure that one's nice and clear. Before I go do the boss chamber so that I don't get things ambushing me from behind. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll wait till it's no longer paced up and I'm no longer weakened. <laughs> Actually, I might get rid of my weakness this time as well. So standing back does the trick. No need to run up if I don't have to, especially since I'll probably attract more stuff. And I don't think most of the Nagas have massively great ranged weapons apart from the sharpshooters. Oh, out of rocks. Um, I mean, they do have those poison breath or whatever, but at least I'm resistant to that. Although, actually, his damage does seem to be adding up. Hey, there we go. First rune. So, I've got the... Hmm, I've got the vaults and I've got somewhere else. I'm also going to change the statue form. I've got the... Uh... Oh, it's like sixty percent health. Gotta try it on anyway. So one hundred and thirty health. That's my resistance looking. They're <laughs> not looking the best. If I put on, I have another source of cold resist. Do I? Not really. I might go to the vaults with this, but I'm not sure that the statue form makes any sense just yet. Um, ah, eh, we'll see. They go into the vaults, generating some stuff. There we go. Oh, Constricted me. I might put on divine shield and go up. Oh, so much for going up. Um, I think I cleanse these again and again. Oh, ow! I think I drink a healing potion. 
Yeah, getting constricted there was not the best place to get constricted ever. Um, also, now they got the statue form on, I can make this up to 16 target again. I'll just buy a tank delay. It's one. It's probably slightly slower than one, which is a bit questionable. I don't know. Well. I'll pull this guy up close to the door. It's better than running in there, I think. Uh... Nah, run up to this guy. I got the willpower to not get mic'd in here, which is something, but I don't have the cold resist. Um, I'm up on Divine Shield. Okay, pull this guy back. Is he going to notice me? What time is this guy? Please don't be a net or something. A trumpet dance. Uh, suppose it's not a net. Oh, those trolls have so many attacks. Um, I might blast these guys with some cleansing flames. Hey, so my health's almost recovered. So, uh, actually, it has a chunt of really. It's going up fast anyway, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I think the next thing to get might be Manifold Assault. Now they've got like a giant spike club and um, statue form going. But of course, I'll, I'll finish off the statue form, make sure that it's fully reliable before I go do anything else. That's the obvious thing to do. Ooh. Um, I'll put on Divine Shield, but like, it's not going to last that long. Can I Quicksilver that guy? Polymorph that guy? What can I do to that guy? 30% chance to polymorph. No, I think I just hide around this corner. Oh, that's a lot of creatures. Um, back up once. Oh no, this one got next to me. It's buffed up its spells as well. That's actually really bad. It's Crystal Spears doing what three d forty damage. I don't actually have that much health right now. Um, I might start a teleport, but this is actually kind of scary. I don't have a sense, do I? Might drink a healing potion. Huh. Just I didn't want to be within one shot of that buffed up crystal spear, which I was. Oh, ow. Um, this guy's doing quite a bit of cold damage to me. What can I do? Uh, I could do a resistance potion. I might. I don't like these guys at all. What can I do to these guys? Um, I'm going to pull on an angel. Okay. 60 hit points. This guy does... 30 something damage. I might get a couple of tags. It's probably fine. This guy does 40, 55. It's probably fine. Hopefully. Um, what have we got here? We've got a revelation of the mutation. I'll buy both of those, I think. Oh, there's some might. I haven't really been using my might. It's not the most useful when I've already hit really hard, but hey, it's something. Uh, what have you got in the armor shop? Just a shield, nothing to tempt me back to the world of armor. Nothing there either. Nah, not really cool. Oh, dude, buff buffed up again. At least I'm healthy this time around. Uh, I just mirrored up though. I don't know if that mirrored as much. I feel like it didn't do a huge amount. 
All right. Well, next level of fault, I guess. I'm hoping for something to give me like some fire or coal resistance here, though. That would be nice because then I could probably go to the swamp without too many problems. If I can get a little, just a little bit of fire resistance, maybe I could go to the swamp anyway. Um, oh, that one is a pole arm. It's going to do that. Sit back and hit me while the other ones move up, but I guess that's all right. See all these backup guys waiting to be recalled by the little good dudes that recall. Not like I can see any guys that recall right now. Um, what I love to identify nothing apparently on me right now. Hey, there's something to identify. It's a uh, scroll something. I can drop the oh, I can probably drop that willpower rope. I haven't needed that one for a while. And I could probably even drop my melted rope resistance, although that, that one's a bit more useful if it's not melted. Definitely a guy there that repels um missiles. Ah, push me back. Um hmm. I try and hide in here, but it takes quite a few turns to get in here. So I was just worried the other guy would recall while I was moving into there or something. I think I can get back into this corridor. There we go. Oh, they, they only got a few attacks as I was moving back as well, which is nice. Alright, how will things go with this? Oh, almost maxed out on the skill needed for this statue form. Although you can you can still get more armor class by trading it even further. I don't think I will for quite some time. But I probably won't because I'll probably just keep using that one until I get some better armor. Um, anyway, I might try getting some... With, oh, with 7 intelligence, how much translocations would it take to get a manifold assault going? 20? Maybe I'm not wearing armor, so maybe not too much. Uh, where's the manifold assault? I know I found it. It's hundred percent failure. I'll still grab it. Ooh. Marked right now. Mm. See how much comes along, because I actually have done a reasonable amount of this level, so yeah, I guess not too much coming along. At least this character's rampage, right? Because otherwise it's really slow to close the distance with the whole uh, statue form. So that helps a lot. I'm actually still getting up to things reasonably quick. Okay, all the archers. And it must be the... What? Crept in here. I could use this for extra piety, but I don't think I will right now because I mean, actually, no, I don't think I do. It's just something I could. No, I don't think I do. I just ignore that one. But I'm actually already on five piety, so it does mean I could use my abilities more if I need to, though. Like, I can summon in more angels or whatever because I can easily get the piety back. All right, well, how many more levels of dungeon do we have to go here? A couple more levels, I guess. Uh, do I have any other spells I want to get? There's... Oh, there's actually the pile drive. might be good for unsurrounding myself. Tell me what else is somewhat usable. All right, well, that's, I think, all the things I can learn. All oh, this distant wind. Questionable, but I'll try to get to it. So we've got revelations. We've got tons of those still. Oh, it really is distant, isn't it? 
The other staircase is a closer, so I'll try one of those. Oh, getting pushed off my staircase. Uh... What's the best way to do it? I guess I just go straight there, basically go down this way. I reckon I'm probably going to have to leave early, but I might as well give it a try. Sometimes these areas can be doable. I seem to remember this. Oh, there's some attacks in here that do more than I was expecting. I mean, actually, it was more draining, wasn't it? Which is probably fine. Um, I don't need the regen, I don't think. I don't need the acrobat. Keep that ring of ice. It might be useful. Uh, no. Keep the flame. I actually... I think I can actually drop that I didn't fight just yet. How much inventory does that give me? Oh, three slots. I, can pro oh, I wish I could run this robe without going through a whole process. Um, Guess I'll drop the one to flame, actually, after all. I might leave the identify outside as well. There we go. Well, I got the edge of the map, so that's a nice start. 100% fail in the metaphor assault. I might actually have to get some intelligence if I want to get that one going. And I probably should. Where's my next level up? I'm level 20, so 21 would be the next level where I get a choice. I might get some intelligence on my next choice. Hell, there's a helmet of intelligence. Can't wear it, but the game's trying to give me some intelligence. Also, that ring of poison resist might not be needed anymore. Uh, does give dex, but it doesn't give a whole lot else. Um, how about that amulet? I mean, it's magic regen, willpower. I guess willpower is still good. Mm. Keep it hitting this guy, I think. Yeah, the summon crystal guardian is not the best. Maybe there'll be good some rings here. Ice and willpower. Okay, see. Two intelligence as well. It's making lots of noise. Ice, I mean, it does give me minus fire resist, which means it's probably not a good idea in here. Oh. <laughs> would be a fragile statue, so we've got a... Oh, it's plus one hatch. And the book over here was Spellforge Scimitar. I don't think I need a plus 9 Spectre or Scimitar. If I was into Blade Sword, that might be alright. I mean, Scimitars aren't quite the highest tier weapon. But plus 9 in Spectral... Uh, I actually have seen, like, Demon Blades, haven't I? So probably wouldn't end up with that one. Even if I was into Swords. Ah, <laughs> good old tower shields. I think I've seen the best tower shields I've seen is like plus two, but I'm not really going to those. I was plus two positive energy. All right, come on, game. Give me some more rings. I know these places have got rings. It certainly can give me more rings. Oh, that's a basic ring, unfortunately. Uh, regen, Rampage, Amblet. Hold up. If I lost two willpower to re magic regen, I could get regen, Rampage? I mean, I got Rampage already. Uh, I gotta try it on, see how my willpower looks. It's still sitting on three. Wait, getting the intelligence didn't bring the manifold sword any more castable, so 99% failure, unfortunately. Ah, oh, well. Also, I do want that grab tambourine. Those ones are excellent. Uh, oh, problems battling boulder and small mammals. You know, those are massively useful spells. For this character, at least. This is 
scouting around. I mean, I try to keep it uh, towards explored areas. Although, actually, I can kind of go anywhere. Like, if I, I can, anywhere's pretty much keep me towards like, either explored areas or the center of the map, or the, not the center of the map, the edge of the map, both of which are good areas to be in. But both of which don't have, won't get you surrounded as likely. Was that the fire starting great base? Nah, I actually had to kill the guy to see how much damage that does. It would do 52 damage? Wait, why is it one attack delay? Because I'm in my form, I guess. Whereas this is 60 something damage to my current weapon. But it also gives... Give some fire resist! <laughs> Maybe that's what I finally need to get some fire resist. Also, what can I drop? Probably that ring of ice. I got the slightly better one. Does do flaming, so I lose. Hmm. I lose like ten damage. Get a couple of fire this. I gotta try it out for a while. I'm not sure if I'll stick with it, but hey. I if I can emulate any of these guys. I don't think I actually can. Oh, I can emulate that one. Is this really noisy doing this? It might not be ideal to be really noisy in here. I mean, there's not much left. Fire starter is fun. It certainly is, Rogue. So maybe I will use this for a while. We'll see. No, I mean, I haven't got to use it before. So, like, I mean, it's actually not too much less damage. I might use it. Yeah, I'm done in here. You know what? Yeah, let's blow some people up. That sounds like a good idea to me. If there's the right characters to be using it, this character's already, like, into two-handed stuff. That's usually what stops me using it, so I'm not really it's two-handed by the time I find it. Actually, that's doing a decent amount of damage. Oh. Two might up one of those? Okay. Definitely gonna have to divide shield and then run up to them. <sighs> that's not good. Um... I don't have fear scroll. See how many I affect. Okay. I'll put on divine shield. And I'll blow this guy up. I reflected back. It's shot. Good. Um, I'm still fragile. These guys are unfortunately going to catch up to me again. I think this is currently fine on my health. All right. It'd be fun if I could get Manifold or something going with this. This is 90, what, 1% failure? I mean, it's making some progress, but imagine blowing people up at range. That sounds like um, some fun to me. Also, I should probably be doing Swamp, because I got the fire of this. Actually, you know what? I totally should be. I might finish this level and then go to Swamp. But that's probably easier than doing here. Um, am I not taking any damage from my own explosions? Because I know I'm immune to the clouds. Huh. I guess I'm immune to the initial explosions too. This it sure feels like it's certainly not doing enough damage that I notice it. Can I eat meat as a statue? Crunchy. What is that? The candy coated scorpion. Yeah, apparently statues can eat Food just fine. Well, that's actually holding some of these guys back nicely as well, because they don't want to step into the fire. Well, some of them are happy stepping in the fire. Getting intelligence, I should do it anyway. Um, seventy-five percent fail the battlefall assault. Man, this is fun blowing everyone up. Oh, so this guy's getting me cold. I might sit back here. Oh, wait. It can still get me cold. Because that is a resistance I completely lack on this character. Man, it wasn't doing too much. Uh... 
Close that door. It should get a bit closer. Almost. All right. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely swamp. And I've got a bit more army class. If I get surrounded in swamp, it's not quite as bad. Yeah, that's one of the guys I was afraid of. Well, the worst way one hit it. Oh, do I burn up all the trees in here? That's interesting. Uh, pipes and paralysis. I hope that's fine. It's going to be fascinating to see how this goes with me burning up all the trees. I, because it can potentially open things up, but they can make things either better or worse, depending exactly where the trees is. Like, here would be better, because it would stop that guy being able to heal from the trees. I think in general, it's a fairly neutral thing, though, blowing up these trees. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna quote on the metaphor so because I can now see it like progressing down with its failure, so it'll give me a good uh good idea of where I'm on. Um do I need another ring of protection? I'm wearing one right now and I'm wearing Oh I'm wearing like decks. You know what? I actually could. Hold on, let me take off my form, drop my robe, put my form back on. All the fire this, but I've actually got that one now. Yeah, I mean I don't need the poison for this. Let's do it. Yep. Oh, did TSO get an update? They did, uh, Domino. Yeah, they did. They got the Divine Shield. No longer gives you shield value. Instead, um, it blocks the next, like, five or six attacks. But I can demonstrate it with Louise here, I think. 3% embellishment. Yeah, like, if I put it on, it's, it's for me, it's blocking seven attacks with, uh, ten invocation or whatever. Um, and it's, like, a guaranteed block, so they do nothing. If it's a blockable attack. And sometimes it blinds people. Um, it's really actually kind of nice. I mean, that made Louise kind of trivial. <laughs> Better kill the Hydra first, otherwise it's getting mitered. Which, is, it doesn't last anywhere as long as the old one, because it um, ticks down as you take attacks, but it's definitely way more effective. So I'm actually kind of liking it. I haven't really played enough to get a good idea whether it's more worthwhile or not, and I think it seems to scale reasonably well with your invocations. In terms of how many charges it gives you. Is that the only change? I think so. I think that's the only change with the charging one. It's not like a... Full God rework or anything. Doesn't seem to be anyway. Which I find because the Shiny One was always one of my favorite gods, so I don't want the don't want them to be reworked too much or they might end up not so good or something. Oh, Forty percent fail with this metaphor salt, not there yet. It's a lot of guys, I think it's still fine. I didn't blow that guy up properly. I might try and cleansing flame. Yeah, it's mighty, but I've still got 150 health. Oh, this guy's constricting me. Um, hide around one of these corners. That's endless walls of creatures because I made so much noise, I think. Fire's on a hype, certainly, Sally. No, this is this is fun. I might keep this weapon until like maybe extended where I might switch to a holy wrath giant spike club or something, but no, until then I think this is a good idea. Oh, it's me. Does it do fire starter as well? It does flame, but I don't think it does the whole fire starter thing. It's an adept Oni Monk of the Shining One, just like me. Uh, I'll put on Divine Shield. That might not last too long with everything around me. Yeah, did all right.
And I got one more level. I got the last level here. And I've also got to remember that my party kind of is maxed out. So I can do like either tons of divine shields or summon a few angels. Whose ghost is this? They look like a genie to me. It's Kazu Emoth's ghost. And a depth genie hunter of Ashazari. Oh, they got ball lightning, I see. But light gateway. Nothing else? It affects me. They probably spammed the ball lightning. Might leave them for now. Um, I've got resistance to electricity. Let's try manifold salt. Oh, there goes the minus move. Yeah, I don't have a lot of magic points. So I might be should get some more. Actually, I should be getting. Oh, not that. What I do? Drop the potion of brilliance or something. Should be getting a little bit. No, I should get my manifold salt going. They get a little bit more invocations. Oh, the Manifold Assault fire starter sounds so fun. I know, I really want to get it going, but I think I'm going to get the Manifold Assault going in there to get some more magic points. I think, because uh, that does sound fun, just blowing things up. The, like, groups the creatures up. It should kill so many things, because Manifold Assault has tons of things. i going to try it on these guys. Oh, does it do the, does it do the explosion when I'm Manifold Assaulting? We'll see. I think it does. Oh, yeah, it definitely does. Nice. And even it blows up like a bunch of trees. All right. Ah, no magic points. It takes, what, seven, I think, to cast the manifold assault. I do have the other amulet for regen, but unfortunately, the not regen, magic regen, but unfortunately, that's also the one with, like, minus four intelligence on it. Um, yeah, so I'm not wearing it right now, because I'd rather just get the metaphor so I'm going, hey, there we go, there's a rune. I think I can take out the ghost. Oh, this is the line gateway. Let me just... Oh, slow me, I might just go upstairs. It should disappear on its own. Oh, wait, no, they don't disappear while you're upstairs. It's a weird thing where you actually have to be on the level for them to make progress. I don't know quite why. But uh, I know that can be a problem with actual characters and some of them. Um, let's go to... What levels of vaults was I on? Three? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, four, actually. Uh... Sure. I'll just read this on my giant spike club we're carrying around. If things die in one head, do they not get a chance to blow up or something? I don't know, because when I killed those basic orcs really quickly, they didn't seem to get a chance to blow up. I do want the fear. What am I carrying around? Why am I carrying around a shield? I'm also carrying around... I don't, probably don't need the poison resist. Yeah, this is a magic regen one with a minus end on it. Um, that's probably fine. I just put on divine shield here. This guy can't do a lot to me. Because it does uh, big individual hits and the... Uh, Charlie was divine. She was really good at stopping like the individual hits. I get my move back. <laughs> oh my god, sixteen percent failure. <laughs> Still got a little bit of work to do here. I love all these guys blow up in an even bigger area than normal because they're, well, elephants. Not that I'm managing to get anything. Wait, why does the Sphinx blow up in a bigger area? Wait, are Sphinx is large? 
Huh, maybe. I mean, the regular creatures are just doing their regular size explosions. I guess Sphinx is all large. I have to check next time I see one. I think I listen now. Oh, the shiny one not the best god for metal spell assault these days, though? Yeah, because uh, the extra, like, accuracy or the infinite accuracy on the, um... Manifold Souls not going to get stacked with it, I think, is it? Oh, it's minus one AC, but I gain a third fire resist? I don't need to resist negative. Um, I'll pick it up, but... I don't need a third fire resist. It's mostly not Volts. Volts is... I mean, Volts is fine if one or whatever for Lindworms on... Unique actually need it, but... Yeah, that's about it. Like, eggs to her and stuff. Anyway, I'm done here. Basically, let's go to the Elven Halls. Um... So it's got three willpower. I could get a fourth rage. Gotta actually, yeah, I've got to try this amulet back on. I don't think that swap did it. Because <laughs> I got this, uh, okay, 16% failure, but that gives me magic regen. I'll give this a try. Uh, these guys trying to fight me on the other side of fences is kind of hilarious. Because I think it's more hurt to them than it is to me. In fact, it's always kind of like that with that entrance. Um, oh, there we go. There's the one magic point I'm missing. What just happened? I'm on fire. I'm on fire and I can't move. Uh, that's kind of funny. Well, with this amount of fire resistance, it doesn't matter though. I think that was even more magic points. I do need more magic points. How do I get more magic points? Fortunately, this doesn't get them. I mean, invocation is like half effective at giving more magic points. It might be the way to go. Uh, I just gotta weigh down this mic. This guy thinks they can repel missiles. Well, good luck repelling an interdimensional club. I mean, manifold assaulted. Uh... <laughs> a sea of flame. I don't think I need the reflection. I'd rather have my magic regen going here. Also, it's willpower, which means I'm definitely not going to get banished with my current setup. All right, two more levels. I could do the Hall of Blades, just get the... Get the stuff from that. Like the enchant weapons mainly is probably all I'd really need. Yeah, I mean, it's down here, right? I'll do the rest of the level first, obviously, in case I need to teleport out of something. Ow. Got all his hit points back with a shape shift. Did. As shape shift is doing. Like, sometimes you get the moments dead. It's like, hey, I'm back to full health. Uh, wizardry. Oh, actually, there was a wizardry I could have bought earlier, but I didn't. It could have been good with the whole manifold assault thing, but I think it's a little bit late now. I'm already down to 11% failure. You know, something I could do is, uh, oh, I can't move. Um, as I could do a ring of magic points, because I believe I've got one of those somewhere. Yeah, in fact, I've got a couple? Oh. Huh. Well, I'll grab this one, at least. Um... Can I drop that ring of ice? Oh. Ice is not terrible, because I don't have resist to that. Polymorph, probably. Just give it a try. I could swap out my other protection for another one if I wanted to. You know what, Josh? Oh, uh, what's well, not that one? Let's go maximum fun and have all the magic points. Uh, whatever. I'll do the cloak. Does mean a lot less armor class, but I think it's probably worth it just for the fun that I'm going to get out of having uh, 40... Seven magic points. I 
All right. Uh, Trials of Kitchen actually needs to go up more, doesn't it? Or should I do spell casting? Spell casting is reasonably cheap. I might just get like 16 of that. Yeah, this, it's going to be worth more than the invocations. I guess that's probably the way to go. 16 too much? What was my aptitude? It's plus one. I don't know. It might be all right. Oh no, uh, 6% failure. I'll probably actually get down to a respectable failure chance on the Battlefall Assault as well, just by training the spellcasting. And wanted to go back for some more invocations or anything. Uh, might as well max out this. Actually, I don't really need to bring in more than plus... Um, I'll just leave these. I don't need to bring in more than plus uh, 7, do I? Which is already on uh, plus 8. <laughs> because that will be enough that when I make it Holy Wrath, it will be like uh, maxed out anyway. Alright, what have we got here? We've got Curing's always good. Resistance is always good. Ah, sure, I'll get a mite. The attraction would only be for, like, the tomb. Um, attracting and everything while I'm in a tree. Using cleansing flame. Oh, you think I've manifold sold ziggurat? And just blow everyone up? I mean, it wouldn't work on flaming levels. But it might actually be reasonably effective. I've got Water Bolts Ghost. Coglin, 50 damage. Ah, oh, they don't look that bad. I got 300 hit points. 50 damage will take them a reasonable while to get through that. I think those are the tough elves. Yeah, plus a Lima Blade Arm. I can't wear that one, unfortunately. <laughs> The guy was kitted out though with his plate armor. Uh, I got like tons of protection rings. I don't need any more of those ones. I got like two of them which I'm not wearing right now because I put on the magic points instead. Which I do not regret putting on these magic points. They seem to have done a lot for me. Oh, look at all those manifold assaults going off. Now that's what I like to see. Fire everywhere. Let's just get in a little bit more. What does this guy have? It has something magical. It has distortion. There's us oh, money here. I'll check the floor afterwards, I think, because I think I might have missed some of these items. I'm seeing... Not artifacts and rigorous slags are going to be competitive with the magic points. Uh, it's a dagger. Okay. I saw like the intelligence, so I was like, ah, oh, it might work. It gives more targets. How many targets do I get? Oh, we're at 20% fail, fail, uh, not fail, power on the manifold assault. I guess I'm not a lot of power. Um,. I know this is intelligence. I don't need the willpower. I might actually just get the basic cold resist ring as an option in case I need cold resist. I don't need more than one of them. Alright, give me books, but there's not really nothing I need because I've already got the manifold assault, which is probably the only book I really need for this character. Actually, well, that was actually really easy to take you out, out of those elves. There's nothing I need here, right? Oh, 10 magic points of like a dagger or something. That doesn't help me out. Oh, so let's go to, let's go to Debs. I kind of want to be back in my staircase, but. <laughs> oh, whoops. I overshot the stairs. When they all bunch up like that, it makes them even more effective to be blowing up. 
when it comes to this uh, spell, which is great. Well, when it comes to the fire starter. Man, I feel like this character's really going to go. I don't need a storm bow. Not anymore. Uh, I'm getting the minus move with 2% failure. That's, yeah, it's going to happen every now and then with how much I cast Manifold Souls. It's definitely going to be a continuous problem. Do I need a Curare Scroll of Poison? I don't really need any of those, I don't think. The Scroll of Poison, I don't think I've used one, but I could. I am Poison Resist because of the statue form. That's a way down. Ooh, Crackle of Arcane Pal. Let's try to find my way to that. Once well, I finish with these guys, of course. Uh... That are down the open, or... I mean, those two are both next to each other. There's one all, all the way over there. There's also that one. They're kind of all in the same direction, but one of them's... Oh, it's this one, isn't it? How could I see into there? Oh, there's one transparent one. Yeah, it is. Everyone's gonna try and stop me because I made a bunch of noise. And I'm marked. I might just get into this corridor. Uh, that's fine. That's extra fine. I'll let it go. Uh, yeah, I'll let it move up. All right. Well, what do I have to drop before I go in here? Because I'm pretty sure oh, I can drop the region. I can drop. I drop one of the pretensions. Actually, I might drop both of them. I'll drop my old club because I can come pick that up when I need it. I think rather than lug it around through the rest of the game. Um. Yeah, that looks good. I think I dropped everything. It looks like I got four inventory slots. Let's just go in. Oh, it's this one. This is, uh, what's it called one? The one with the moon troll in it. I think, actually, I think this is fine for this character because it's got the things that summon, but I reckon my manifold assault should be fairly good at taking those out. Okay, 16 spellcasting things pretty good. Um, don't need the army yet. I've got mid delay on my weapon, I'm pretty sure. In fact, I think this is slightly lower. I might just get 16 on the invocations, get the angels reliable at least. It's a ring of fire resist, resist corrosion, minus two decks. I think my fire resist is like maxed out anyway. But, no, I don't think that really helps. Not that I really need decks, because I can barely dodge with this character. And... My, oh, my accuracy is good enough anyway, because there's infinite accuracy with the Manifold Assault, and good accuracy without. Did that? Oh, my suit decks are, oh, well... I was, I was saying I didn't really need that, so yeah, it's not that important. Also, I'm pretty sure I can't really use the troll's armor because all my bonuses from it will be melded with the statue form. And the statue form is well worth having when I'm manifold assaulting. It's a uh, times 1.5 damage on each hit. I don't think I get there directly. I have to take a portal, right? Oh, cold resist. Strength. That's an amazing ring because it's got magic points. So no uh, loss by putting it on. And I did need that cold resist. And strength brings me up to 58 damage. Pretty good. There are 
Moon troll in here? There yeah, it is. I gotta take a look at it. So it's oh, it actually works. Moon troll leather armor. Yeah, there's five magic points, but a spirit guardian, so you can't lose the same amount. It's also got a regular uh, six magic points co resist willpower. Um, I mean, it's already three magic points that I lose by putting that on. And it's like, I get a second co resist. I probably should. Yeah, oh uh, well, down to 58 magic points. I think that's still a decent chunk. And I've done, I believe. I'll double check for treasure. I mean, I can grab the Moon Troll leather armor, but... I don't even need that enchant weapon. It's not a... No, don't really need it. How do I get out of here? I've got to take the portal, and then I... There we go. And then I take the way out. Also, I can drop one of these magic point rings now that I've got a better improvement for it. Man, I love watching a whole bunch of giants um, coming along. Well, things that are quite large, because then when they blow up, they will blow up at the same time. Also, that with that juggernaut, do you think a divide shield would make it pretty useless? Not that I was having problems with it. Because they attack so slow, they do huge damage each attack. They're just instantly blocking it with a divine shield. Oh, would make it not too much. I can't get to the ziggurat without flight, but I probably can fly. Not that I want to do a ziggurat right now, but... I actually kind of do want to get this whole uh, fire starter in a ziggurat thing a try. Ooh, gold dragon armor. Um... Not yet. How many enchant armor do I have? Three. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's worth getting eventually. I'd probably need, like, 20 armor skill. It does make my manifold souls slightly less efficient, which is why I'm not in a massive hurry or anything, but it will be more protective. I can probably get, like, 40 armor class or something with it. Um... And it does bring up my fire cold resist. Um, I lose my resist electric with it, except that doesn't matter. <laughs> I lose the resist negative as well, but that also doesn't matter. Because I'm currently wearing the magic regen resist electric thing, which I think actually makes a ton of sense with this character. I just don't get any bad flaws in the ziggurat. Oh, what? Is lava there or something? Oh, there's two. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to kill the Scaradrop that way, but... Ooh, actually, that fighting's cheap. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'll just get fighting, because that's well worth getting. What could be yak sausage? <laughs> Eat food on this side as well. No, it's not giving me food. Smoke deal. Got to give an Oni fan, I mean, an Oni's pretty big. They could probably eat lots. What did I just get? Sigatuma's Putrefication. I should give the new Necromancy a try at some stage. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Necromancy. But maybe it's good now. Also, the Shiny was not the best god for a Ziggurat because... They wouldn't let me do death form, would they? But I mean, for your first cigarette, you don't really need the death form. Uh, let's get back to the staircase and get my magic points back. <laughs> Look at those explosions. Just bathe in a sea of fire. Man, I want to take this thing into Volts 5. That sounds like a plan. That is probably good against the Royal Jelly as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'll probably be doing both floors anyway because I kind of want to go for a lot of runes. I've heard that spell's pretty good. The um, Sigma's Tuba's Putrefication. I'm going to give it a try. I don't need a Glaive. I compete with setting it on fire. You've never tried it though? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I want to try a Necromancer. Probably not my next thing after this character. 
Because I've still got, um, I think there's a new Mac lamp change. I want to give that a try at some stage. Because I've heard you can, like, bleed now for Mac lamp. I don't, I have no idea how it works. I just, um, heard that there were plans of making it work for races that could normally bleed, except it doesn't quite work for bloodless vampires. Like, they're explicitly bloodless. How do you make one bleed? I wonder whether my emulation scrolls would be useful in um, something like Falls 5, because I could read one and then, you know, probably have start most things emulating anyway, but it could be good just to start things going. On time you get it on characters that could cast it, um, you know, beyond fourth level spells, right? Is it not in the Necromancy starter book? I guess you might know another Necromancy start. Uh, I might go back to that staircase. Ooh, lots of shrikes. Let me just go lose six magic points, I think. I think this is okay. Still marked, though. I just teleport to the other side of the set level, but I think this is going all right. <laughs> the other side of the creatures, I guess. Uh... Well, the teleport was like vaguely the right idea, but it didn't quite do much. Let me go back to the magic points, I think. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. You don't think it is, but uh, you didn't try naked around the yeah but they what actually i can't even remember what the old naked spells were um old naked tries got reworked that was the first one was so it probably isn't because it's only like a first level spell right i know the naked ties got reworked into something i just can't remember what it is anymore naked is just uh same with grave claw and the new naked ties replacement right Oh, that makes sense. What was the grave floor replacement from, or is that like a completely new thing? Like, I don't know. I like this guy kidding me while I'm in statue form with the Lee's Wrath Deconstruct. I think it was doing the most damage to me out of all those guys. Who is that? All these strikes. Problem with the strikes, I think they attack really fast, so I can't just like divide shield them up so well. Um What did that guy got? It's got an artifact, right? It's got a ring of intelligence, willpower, fire, this points and resist. It's a resist I don't need. Um Nah, it's basically just an intelligence ring at that point, so I gotta leave it. Necromancy had no level 2 spell before. Right, so I guess it's just a, just a new one. I mean, all oh, right, because they went straight to Vampiric Draining or something as a third level spell, didn't they? Huh. It really shows how like, little I actually do the start of Necromancers. How little I actually like stick with Necromancy on the start of Necromancers. So I feel like most of the wins I've had with Necromancers to stick with it. And the most I've ever done with Necromancy has actually been more like summoners that go into haunt and then pivoted to Necromancy from there rather than actually sticking with it. Oh, you just trained Necromancy for a Vampiric Draining and died to the first race white? Yup, that's how I remember the Necromancer start being. Oh, do I want to do Vols 5, like, right now? I do. I want to do it right now. And I want to blow some things up. Uh, I got an escape hatch, but... I want to go down here. I'm going to re just in case I don't start things properly. 
Okay. Look at all that fire spreading. I need a new skill. Um, I might get some more invocations. Gotta go up. Because otherwise I'm gonna run out of magic points. And I don't want to guy come along the seals of the staircase when I have no magic points. Why is the staircase not back? I killed the guy, didn't I? Oh, there's another one. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Just go up. <laughs> don't want to get too low. Are your last necromancer sacrifice the love? Uh, uh, so I guess no, no undead for you if you sacrifice love, but you can still do... What? Vile Clutch? What else can he actually do as a necromancer sacrifice love? Oh, that was right before the changes anyway, right? I guess Vampiric Draining. <laughs> ah, just go up. No, this feels really easy. This, like, doesn't feel hard at all. Oh, to Rue. Yep. I haven't run Rue in ages. I don't know. They're, like, not even a terrible god. It's just... I never really feel inspired to play them. All right, where are the creatures? <laughs> I usually just run around like a little bit on these staircases, so uh, because I don't want to leave the staircases, just to uh, see as many things as I can. But it's almost time to go running around this level. I saw a dude up here. I don't know where it's. I'm gonna shout. What sort of orb was that? Crystal ball. That would channels magic, but unfortunately, I don't have a third arm to put it on. Uh, <laughs> can't wear it on my head or anything. All right, let's go exploring. I wouldn't mind some magic channeling. That would actually be quite useful. I think it's quite good at it, but yeah, I just don't have enough arms. That was a little treasure vault guarding a draining battle axe. Uh, do I just get... I got to get a ton of invocations. Yeah. And I got the fighting already. Did I get the armor, maybe? I don't know. I'm in no hurry to get the armor because this is just so good. The statue form is so good with the manifold assault. Um, but I could just stick with... I don't know. I always could just stick with the statue form the entire game, but I'm not sure about that. I oh, like Rue quite a bit. The sacrifices are pretty interesting and very powerful. Yeah, I know that you like the apocalypse can be really fun. Um, I don't know why I never find, feel inspired to play Rue. Like they never, they're never a bad choice. That's oh, just the strength of Dex Ring. It's not that good. I'm always tempted to, like, uh, keep this weapon at extended instead of going with Holy Wrath, but I'm not sure that makes any sense. Holy Wrath Giant Spike Club would also be pretty good at uh, doing the whole Manifold Assault thing in extended. Having said it, like, the right hell this could be useful. Why have I not got the Berserk Potions? Did I use my last one of those? I guess I did. I don't need that cover this ring anymore, of course, because I've got the two ones that give magic points now. Alright, uh, it's vault start. I did see some items on the ground, so let's quickly skim through this. Okay, so Wukan Moo is all for telling magic. There's an amulet of reflection with five magic points. Minus four of course. Hold the staff, another mace. I don't think I need any of that. So let's go. I'm gonna go deal with some slimes. I feel like this should work against the raw jelly. Oh, a teleport.
Uh, sadly, the holy great uh, Giants by Club's probably better. Yeah, it probably is an extended. I mean, I can test both of them out once I get to that point, just to see which one actually is better, but yeah. Because it's an extra um, 75% damage. Oh, hey, Royal Jelly. Oh, that did not work. Oh, minus move as well. Oh, no, that's getting me killed. Oh, minus, minus move. Oh, this is not good. Um, I can't evade the Royal Jelly with fear, but what about these guys? Oh, I'm fragile. This is actually not great. Um, this is not a good time for that minus move to pop up. I think you can get rid of a cancellation, right? But I think I try to get these guys a fear. Does it say? Does it say if I can cancel it? Does it? I think the fragile could have maybe also be cancelled. I think I gotta give it a try. Yeah, it did cancel. I'm gonna go up. Whew. Now I think I'm fine, but I might just do a healing potion just in case. Right, so don't go right down that staircase. Yeah, that was a really bad time for things to trigger. Oh. Ah. Mm, I mean, I got a little bit of. I got an escape hatch. Oh, this is so questionable. I'm taking the escape hatch. Where's my staircase? There we go. This is 1% failure. I mean, I guess I'm spamming it. Although 1% minus move is the worst thing with level 7 manifold salt. Yeah, it really does come up way too often. Um, and 1% failure because you just cast so much, right? Like, it's every turn you're casting. Man, I kind of... I wish I had a way of reducing that, but I don't think I do. Uh, oh, these are the duration scales down with success. Right, I guess um, not actually that powerful because they don't have a lot of end. Uh, like 20 percent power or something. I don't know if there's much I can do to pre increase that one, though. Oh, I'm still fragile. <laughs> it's not what I want to be in here. Oh, it doesn't last too long. Yeah. How long does it last? I know it's like maybe two or three turns. Sometimes it's a little bit longer. Artifact ammo. I think one was decent. It was the magic regen one, but I could find a better one. I'm actually going to get intelligence again. Let's do it. So, I mean, it brings me up to 25% power. I don't think I'm getting better than 1% failure. I don't think I'm going to get rid of that last failure, unfortunately. Right, well, the Royal Jelly was this way. It is still this way. Yeah, like, look how easy that is when I'm not, like, minus cast trapped in place with Fragile. So much easier. <laughs> On scales of success, not power. Oh, that's interesting. Unusual. I guess uh, the miscast things do, don't they? It's only the success things. Oh, hub. Uh, you know what a hub reflection? I came back a bit of intelligence. I don't know if I do, but it's actually kind of tempting putting on a hub. AC resist electric minus five slag. I don't think I go with that one. I don't need the willpower. What else have we got? Charm Dump is good, but I've only got five of them. I never found a huge amount, which is why I haven't switched to Gold Dragon Scales right now. Um, right. I think I just go to Zod at this point. Oh, you need Corathia to get uh, seventh level spells a zero percent fail. I think you do. Or like a bunch of stacked wizardry or something. Yeah, I think it is kind of crazy. 
But I might at least be able to get some more power with it, get a few more targets. Uh, a curse toy. I think this is fine. Because I've got resistance to the torment because of my statue form. Am I still missing the resist corrosion? Yeah, I never quite got that one. Well, I did it for a little while, I think, with this character. And I swapped my stuff around to get some more. Actually, did I have it for a little while? I think I might have. No, I had it really early game. Before I had nothing good to put in the slot, I just put it on like a random resist corrosion, I think. Uh, oh, the power scaling is really good at low end. Wait, at low end? I thought you kind of needed like both end and stuff to get power. Do they like kind of? Oh, right, because the uh, the low power ones are different, right? Like you get good scaling at first, and then the scaling drops off or something. I I seem to remember that's vaguely how spellcasting works. I've never really looked at the exact formulas for spell pals or anything. I mean gold dragons, I think there's armor everywhere. It's just I haven't wanted it yet. Yeah, minus move again of course. It's been a little while since I've had that would trigger. What are the average time you cast Manifold Soldiers in a game? Like, if it's one like this, it'll probably be a couple of thousand at least. So you should expect to trigger the minus move, like, what, 20 times? Something like that. I'm going from uh, 9 to uh, 11 is a lot more than going from, like, 40 to 42. Right, no, that's true. I think it is. Yeah, like, uh, I think it brought me up, when I went from 9 to 11, I think it brought me up from 21 to 25% power. Definitely nice. Uh, I'll go down a different staircase. Oh, well, probably isn't too bad. Oops, ah, I should have killed that guy. That's fine. Oh... Berserk's gonna wear off, yeah. I might be a melee character, but I'm not one that benefits from Berserk because then I can't cast my main damaging spell. Oh, Invocation's looking excellent. I think it is time for me to get the armor going. Time to swap down to something a little bit smaller, which is going to be a bit of a shame in terms of magic efficiency. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I almost feel like I need to be a Sith Martyr or something now. <laughs> just a challenge magic to keep the manifold assault going or something. Oh, it's just a int over 10 multiplier? Right, but then there's a... So there's something weird afterwards, like, um... It gets stepped down if it's above a certain value or something with the power? I thought there was something like that after the... Because it's like the skill, like, um... Gets, like, added up and averaged out with the various spell schools. Then it gets multiplied by like end or whatever. Then doesn't it get some sort of weird formula applied afterwards to step down really high powers? I seem to remember that being the case with spell power. <laughs> oh, plus there's a step down right, right. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how that one works, but I seem to um. River makes getting some of those really high spell powers really hard. Do I completely do this level or will I get too many mutations? I'll definitely magic map it out. 
Right, that'll be the side to go down. I think I leave it until after extended. Um, but I'll do the, like the, I'll do the initial part of the level, and then I'll leave the arrow of the orb of fire still later on. It's kind of trickling around the corner, which is not the most efficient, but I get to hit multiple people at once. Also, that dot trap got set off a couple of times, although I don't think it did anything special. Because I think one of those guys was trying to dodge my fire, dodged into the trap, unfortunately. Alright, the less much I'm doing right now. Um, go grab my giant spiked club. That was a spectral one there, not that I care. What do you mean I can't carry that? I can drop. I dropped the boomerangs. I'm not really going to need those. Drop the evasion. The magic point is way better. On the brand weapon. Um, right, well, it's branded up on the this one. Not that one, that one. There we go. So, what's the damage on this one? It's 63. Whereas this one's damage is 81 plus Holy Wrath. Mm, that's probably worth it. I'll try it in the crypt. I love making this fire though. It's so much fun. I don't want to give up my fire, but it's so much more damage, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like... It's almost doubling it. It's not quite, I don't think. Also, how my fire would this be? It would be on, I think it's perfectly on three. So go down to one, would it? I can maybe get it back up to two with gold dragon armor. That's not too bad. I think gold dragon armor. Let's uh, scroll for it here. Yeah. Right, let's give this other weapon a try for a little while. See how that goes. Oh, really? Welcome to the cloud of fire? Because I no longer have immunity to that one. Uh, I mean... Yeah, it's doing so much more damage. Uh, it doesn't look right without the fire, though. Oh, goodbye, Curse Girl. That doesn't stick around for very long. Hey, more enchant armor. This has been well worth doing for the enchant armor. Like, two enchant already? Yeah, plus nine gold dragon armor is looking a bit more promising. I won't put it on until, like, after here. Um, it always makes me want to put on some harm, though. <laughs> if I'm going to be going with gold dragon armor, getting a bit more defense, but using more magic points to do my attacks. Alright, one more level here. It shouldn't be too bad either. And the, I mean, the resistance torment on my statue form is also nice. That's why I'm kind of tossing up whether I do put it on or not. But the extra fire this would cold resist would actually be nice. Depending, like, which part of me said, like, fighting Sarah above and stuff. Alright. Man, Crypt with a Shining One, once you're at a high level, is just ridiculous. You just, like, go through and clear everything out. Like, nothing in here stands a chance. Even the, um, Curse Skulls don't really pose too much of a threat. And the Magic Back of Kill is kind of nice. Because that's, uh, well, it's only when I kill demonic or unholy things or whatever, but that's everything at this point in the game. I guess the Iron Stone Constructs, like the Iron City of uh, Distance stuff. I remember that one's also good for the Shining One because of all the things it can't affect. Uh, so this looks like it would not, no, this doesn't open up into creatures. Usually the Treasure Vault does, but not this one. 
Yeah, this dude usually... Actually, are there special pressure plates for the ones that do open up into creatures now? I don't know, they might be. Um, Char look at some requirement. There's a giant spike club of venom. No, it doesn't compete. It's covered this light trick. Um, none of this competes. I'm just going to take the money, which I don't need, <laughs> add it to my stash. What was that scroll immolation? Sure. It's going to be a little bit painful to get to. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And well, I might as well do the other side as well, even if it's a little silly. The Death Stallions one. Oh, you don't see those every day. I can't wear, I can't use the shiny one, but it even gets an open an artifact one. Of course I get the artifact Death Stallions, but on a shiny one character. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the hammer. That's my character, basically, is bopping everyone. Um, where do I want to be? Where do I want to do? I can go to extended. I should grab the gold dragon arm first, though, right? I've already got 16 armor skill. Let's go check on. I don't think I've seen any good golden dragon armor. Nah, it's all plus zero. All right. So I got uh, 31 armor class. I'm not even sure if I can cast the stuff, like, to be honest. Oh, 70% failure. And also, it's not increasing my armor by that much. Huh. Like, 35 compared with 31. And with the evasion change, it's about the same. So it's basically better resist but, and worse cast chance. Maybe I shouldn't go with gold dragon armor. I don't think I should, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to get more... Tra I mean, maybe, like, really later on. But, like, I might just get more transfications and more mason flails. And it's bought people harder. Because I got more hit points with this one. And I, it's better with the manifold assault. Let's go to pen... Oh, whoops. That's not it. Whoops. How do I re-explore this level? You, but looks like... Yeah, not shift, uh, control U. All right, pandemonium, here I come. Well, that reason's useless. That was this guy. It's got a shield of reflection. Oh, yeah. Kind of vaguely want the enchant armor because I might still eventually get to the gold dragon armor like really late on. But it doesn't look worth it for pandemonium. So watching these demons explode is hilarious. Oh, marked. I guess I'll wait it off. Oh, that pandemonium business, Lord, is it's dead. I don't have to even check its abilities, so it's not going to live that long. Uh, how do I deal with this guy? Actually, if I manifold assault in a crowded room, my magic points actually have to go up by the looks of things. Alright, uh, uh, play now, I don't care about that. Oh, do you have other translocation spells? I should get some, shouldn't I? You're quite right, I should get, um, I should get Fies. I should get, do I have Gravat? I do have Gravat. I should get Dispersal. I should get Gravat. Um, I guess I should get the Passage as well. Yeah, I mean, I might as well just get all the translocation stuff and remember that I've got it. Ooh. The holy level. I massively want to be killing angels, but the starting one remarkably doesn't mind. Oh, there's something behind here. It's like a treasure room or something. I don't bring a flight though, so I I still feel like angels should be 
friendly to Shining One worshippers. We're like, slimes are friendly to Jiva worshippers. But, oh well. Guess that might make this level of pandemonium a bit too easy. Oh, these Seraph guys, they mark you when they're inside, don't they, now? Which can bring in a whole lot more. In fact, it can bring in more Seraphs sometimes. Just kind of sketchy. Oh, I don't have a lot of magic points. So many holy swords that I don't need. Also, so many shields that I don't need on the ground. These special statues are golden statues. Yeah, they are special statues. Uh, I don't have the magic points right now. Um, it's manifold soul. I think it's the most effective use of my magic points. Do I teleport? No, I don't. Oh, maybe I do. I think I do actually teleport. I think I can survive this. Yeah, there we go. But they were all brought in by that one um, orphan that marked me. Or oh, digging and then uh, grotting into the tunnel you found is nice. Oh, because that would get you into the tunnel quickly and it would also smash the puzzle things into walls. Huh. Should definitely... How much digging do I have? I'm at 20-something. I should definitely think about doing that. And I need to remember these little tricks. What is the spell soul? I've got the gravat. I want to try the gravat at some stage. How does that work? It smashes it on a dredger. Does it, does it get minus move still or not? No, because minus Gravat now, good. I think they gave minus move for a while. Previously, no, it always gave minus Gravat, right? It was probably a different one that gave minus move, I think. Well, that's mining. Oh, does this guy go on reflection, please? No, dispels the dots. Okay, that's not too bad. I can maybe even grab those? Oh, I can't grab those. No inventory space. I got... I mean, oh, they're probably not that important. I could use my enchant armor, but to uh, do my enchant armor to end my form and then read it. Which is a bit of a pain, but... All right, let's see, Davis. I think a number of them might have already wandered out of here. I know I saw one around the entrance. Oh, good, more cancellation. I was pretty sure on those. Brilliance could be useful as well. Well, lots of cancellation, like four cancellation. Most of that was one worth going in there. This character's have a bit more trouble killing Davis off there to skip that spot. Oh, you could have uh, jumped. Wait, you could have charged Meldridge? Really? Huh. I guess you just can't, like, unequip while Meldridge. I'll have to try that, because I think I still need to uh, do one more. I'll try to try that next and chart armor I find. Plus five tower shields, minus five end nah, That's not a very good one. Also, why am I looking at tower shields? It doesn't matter how good they are. I'm no never going to be able to actually use them on, a char on this character anyway. Because I don't think there's a mutation to give you a third arm. Totally should be a mutation that gives you a third arm, although that might be a bit too powerful. It kind of be stepping on forms its toes a bit. I've got a Hellfire Mortar, Cannonade. The Cannonades, I don't know, it felt a little underpowered, but then I realized it's only a fifth level spell, so I think it might actually not be too underpowered for a fifth level spell. 
Are you doing it all the time, last run? Yeah, it makes sense, because often, like, characters in a form are just kind of waiting until they can, like, uh, go get a good suit of armor or whatever. Oh, I'm bagged again. He's gonna try and hit me with a sling or whatever, but it's not doing a huge amount of damage. Oh, I'm just like perfectly mined because there's endless seraphs coming along here. Also, maybe I should be using a fire starter in here or something. Some of these guys I know are immune to fire. Because the Holy Wrath isn't doing a lot, but these guys are all angels. Do I have a haste potion or something? I feel like I might need it. Yeah, I got tons. Uh, okay, drink the haste potion. I think I might do the brilliance so they just get to manifold assaulting. But that should keep the numbers down, and then, yeah, then they don't get a problem. It's got an amulet of reflection, cold resist, minus five end. Um, I can't cold resist, right? Well, some amount. Uh, uh, actually, I don't need the Berserk Rage because I can't cast with that on, so I don't think I'm ever really going to use it. Why is the Shining One got a manual of stealth here? Oh, well, I'll offer a prayer to the Shining One then. Next level, actually, I don't know where the next level was. It'll be around the edge somewhere. Uh, actually, hold up. That rig of flight could get me out of here if I actually have some space for it. Because I did see... Where is it? This little treasure part here, which I'm pretty sure has a way out over the water. Because in theory, you can spawn on that area, so it gives a way out for people that can't fly. Um... That one will do. The one that gives slightly less magic points. Oh, no, actually, this is a different one. Ah, never mind. I guess not. Oh. There's one with, like, potions, and there's one that just has, like, the gold, but the one with gold doesn't have a way out, which means it must be, a uh, like, one that you can't start on, I would guess. Because otherwise you'd start trapped in there, but... Uh... More angels. All right. This character's doing re actually really well for a whole tiny one character here. A lot of characters have to be, like, desperately summoning an angel to try and get through here, and then they run out of piety, but this character's kind of doing alright. Also, I've been in here. Why am I going back in here? What? Don't you explore what it's looking at a random weapon? Sure. This guy's mined up and I failed to take it out with a manifold salt there. Hold up. Am I mirrored up? How do all these guys get mined? Do they mine themselves or is it oh is it the orphans that mine them? Might be. Man. I almost had to teleport, but without an orphan marking me, I almost did need to teleport. Of 
I might not want to let the owner explore through it, so like it doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. I might just manually explore around the outside. Oh, hey, there we go. This way to the next level. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Well, kind of the way to the next level. Wake out, but it'll get me back in. Does the, the Divine Shield doesn't work in Damnation, right? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. That's not blockable. That's fine. Oh, the Pandemonium Lord's dead. I used to always put my Divine Shield on before I went through a level. I wonder if that makes sense still. A lot of the stuff and death and tears to his loot room. I mean, I guess it's uh, being kept there so no one uses it, right? I'll try it. Oh, 13 on the Divine Shield now. Interesting. I don't think I can stack those, can I? Oh, 14. I think it just brings up to the highest out of the things, I guess. Ooh, ruin. I think that's probably fine. What how practical it would be to always have my Divine Shield on. And just top it up every time it gets kind of low. Probably not that practical, but hey, maybe. I mean, the fact that I don't get into melee a lot, maybe it's actually practical. Oh, nice way push the haste back. Uh, I seem to be doing pretty well on those ones, but I might need them for various pandemonium lords that I end up fighting. Oh, wait, that was the way on. Oh. Yeah, in fact, I did an entire level of Pandemonium there without getting a single melee attack, because I could tell because my shield didn't go down. Oh, there's a melee attack. It's gone down to 11. Oh, don't sap my magic, dude. Well, you can see when my magic saps, because then uh, that takes a lot more shields. Wait, those guys are smite targeting their ruin? I guess so. On oh, pad, you have infinite fighting this room? You basically do. So I might as well keep my shield nice and topped up. Especially if you never summon angels. So I haven't really needed my angels. I mean, there's been a few spots where I was thinking about it. But with how much magic they take, I'm not sure. With this particular character, usually they're well worth it. I mean, there's still certain, um, there's still certain lords, like uh, Pandemonium lords, where I want to bring in the angels. Oh, wait, oh, Trajan? Oh, whatever. I got that right. Yeah, I got six, that should be enough. I just need enough attraction for two, but that's it, and six is probably that. Ooh, a blinking. I'll take that. Yoink, there we go. It's mine. I don't think I got mana, uh, not mana form, it's all uh, affrontation, though. Nah. <laughs> no NPC in this game. That's fine. It is good for stealing runes, but I feel like I can't think of a pandemonium lord that I'll massively struggle on or anything. Oh, I should have waited for the minus sap to go away. There we go. Okay, magical one. This is oh right there. Uh, I need a little bit more cover to this. I might put on a haste and a uh, resistance, and I think I should be good. I have a good... Oh. Should have I put on the brilliance? Kind of low on those, but I probably should. Otherwise, I'm going to run out. Oh, I did run out. Yeah, I think this is fine, and I can go fine wherever the rune is this time round. But I feel like Manifold Assault just feels super powerful now. It's kind of in a weird state, because, like, it's really hard to get, 
and it's not worth getting early on, but then once you get it, it feels like super powerful. Because kind of before, sometimes it didn't always feel worth using depending on the weapon you had, but now it's like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm using the best weapon for Manifold Sword. I'm using a giant spike club. Or oh, the heels. Yeah, I mean, the heels on the Cerebol, not Cerebol, Lob Lobog, it can be ridiculous. It's why I always love to have haste, because. Do I really need silver gems? I oh, probably not. If I have haste on, at least they get less chance to heal up. Uh... So I feel like sometimes if you don't have haste, you're just damaging them at the same rate they heal and you're not getting anywhere. Alright. Top up my shield, though. Actually, I think it was already pretty fresh. Whoa, what's this dude? Galatia? They've got two cords. I think that's fine. <laughs> I mean, if it dies in two heads, like, sure. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the level where I'm going to bring in my angel army to take out Galorix there. I'll probably have to have some brilliance as well, because after I bring out my angel army, I'm not going to have enough magic points to do much. It's crazy strong now. Yeah, it does. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about bringing it to 7th level. It feels like it's crazy strong, but also only really for extended? I don't know, it's a, it's a weird state to be in. Yeah, I'll do use on my shield, because I guess these guys are super fast. Oh, he's already out. Bring in a couple of angels, though. Before I manifold sold him. And the statue form is always really good against him because, well, I'm uh, resistant to his torment. Oh, it's, it's possible to overcome by tig uh overwhelmed by targets, but usually it just hits full screen. Yeah, and I, I mean, I know I'm doing, like, uh, Giant Spike Club, which is, like, ideal, but... It does really hit a lot of people now. The infinite accuracy, even with the shining one, is still a bit of a buff. Alright, next level. How many more runes do I have? I've got two more. So I, got, I know I've got the fiery one in there, which could be bad. I'll probably just have to use a resistance potion or something. Or... Or I could end my armor, or end my form and get, just to use my gold dragon armor. I reckon a resistance potion, though. Or I've probably got a ring, actually. If I lost, like, six magic points. Yeah, actually, no, a ring's probably the idea. I did bring one with me, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, but, like, you're investing... Oh, but if you're investing in a uh, two-hander and statue form, it's similar to experience to a nice old spell. I mean, that's probably true, but... I don't know. I would have, like, invested in these things anyway, even if I wasn't going for Man of Fold Assault. I mean, maybe not... I probably would have kept with the statue form, but I might have still, like, invested in it. Because it was quite good early on. I don't know, I don't feel like I would have done much different without going for the form, and it was a decent cost to get it going. Uh, I could just blink across, but I'm going to use the flight. Alright, where's my... It was the of those magic points I think I had on. Ooh, glowing rune. Okay, definitely magic map out this level, because well, this one you get horribly malmutated. Wait, there's a little glowing rune mini area on the glowing rune level, I think. I got a little area for the boss to come visit. That's weird. On their own level. Running out of magic points could be a serious problem here. I, even with the regen. Oh, 
not. We'll see. Something happened to me. Oh, Freya, I can reset that afterwards. No particular hurry on this level, I think, to reset that one. I do think Translocation is very strong for any melee character, especially in Extended. I mean, yeah, like, to, otherwise, you, if you're wearing heavy armor, it's uh, not so easy to get outside of Extended, but... By Extended, you tend to have enough free experience, you kind of can. Oh, Orb Spiders, I see. I think the Divine Shield blocks those, right? Oh, reflects those, okay. I mean, that's not too bad. But that's actually seriously effective against those. Um, <laughs> top of the divine shield again. Not like I'm short on pioneer or nothing. Uh, I don't have any magic points. Am I just hide around this? Oh, okay, it's not not mild mutating. I thought it was mild mutating for a second. No, I think I'll just try to drain my magic points and stuff. Wait, what? There's ops here? Wait, where are the... I, uh... Who? Wait, don't walk up to that. Why does matter fall us all? Do I want to do a buff? Do I need a buff? I think I do a taste, but I'm not entirely sure if I need it. Actually, no, it's dying. Never mind. <laughs> now, at least I got tons of haste. Uh -huh. Oh, the orbs getting reflected. I see the the orbs of destruction. I thought it used to be like uh, about other kinds of orbs, like the ones that people wield. No, the orbs are just kind of funny, just reflecting those all back. Oh, it's a fiery level. I'm not right on the boss, but I'm pretty close. Ah. Uh... I don't even know if that arm is worthwhile. I think it's more spellcasting. I want the mad, more magic points. Oh, hey, Sarah Bob. Uh, it's going to cost me... Okay, I put on this. No, I think I'll do the brilliance. What did he hit me with? Iron shot. Ooh, no, that didn't work. I think I might need a teleport. Okay. 160 health, but this is quite a lot of things. My tag delay again. One. I think I'll be fine if I grab a tambourine, but... Okay, good. The teleport did go off. Didn't want like to get tormented and then fire stormed or something. That would have been the worst combination. I still got the fire resist on. Okay, probably fine. Do I want to try and get like a little bit of health back? I kind of do. I might try because I got so many mutations. I think it's fine. Ooh, spells are more powerful. I regenerate. I occasionally lose the ability to read scrolls. Oh, minor scrolls is kind of nasty. I think I'm going to reset that because I don't want to lose the ability to blink or teleport. Oh, I got really good ones. Spells are less powerful. Minus magic points. Come on. Arr, so good that spells are less powerful. Oh, you should have really waited. Oh, there we go. Fire resist. Excellent. Shield value is whatever. It doesn't do a lot. But fire this is perfect. Oh, can the armor replace Cerebral's sword now? The armory? I don't think so. I think there's special rules where they can't replace um, artifacts. I think it was specifically on creatures. 
Um, I think when they were initially added, they could, and I think it got changed. I remember seeing a uh, um, commit about changing that one. Yeah. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case now. It doesn't replace artifacts. All right, I've got magic regen, so I think I can just do like the number of manifold assaults and um, teleport out and repeat the process. And I think that should do the trick yet. Oh, mm. Also, I should have my I should have my shield on. Some of these things do do melee. Hopefully, nothing will get into melee range, but you never know. I should I should always have that shield on. Yeah, it'd be funny though if the uh, armory did replace the sword. That would be that would be hilarious. Also, in the right spot. Oh, I can't see him. This uh maybe. Oh, I should definitely get rid of some of these things. Yeah, there we go. He's trapped. Oh, I don't want things. Those aren't even summoned, so I'll eventually run out of them. Well, maybe. It's pandemonium after all. More necessary. There we go. He's gone. Yeah, he gets a funny lava trapping him. That always makes him... That's always funny when that happens and he can't do anything. That was an armor manual. Uh, I mean, I've kind of almost given up on the armor, but... Hey, maybe eventually. <laughs> ah, basic statue... Form. Oh, rat archmage. I don't think I go to robes. So that's a bit light. A repulsion scarf with minus cold resist. I've got a cloak of what exactly? Fire resist. Actually, that's pretty useful. I think I keep my cloak on. Uh, yeah, no, I've got the mutation now, so it's not quite as important as it used to be. But we'll see if I. Uh... Yeah, I might not lose that mutation. We'll see. If I can get out of Pandemonium nice and quickly, I might be able to keep that one. Have I seen the rune yet? I haven't because I'm looking in the wrong spot, aren't I? It's over here. All right. Um, where's the way out? Oh, that's just a... It's just a way to the next level. I'm looking for an add to way out of here. So I can go do the abyss, I guess, next. Uh, do I? I don't trust the auto explorer. As just going to look at all those weapons on the ground for all the areas I've been manually exploring earlier. Oh, it might, might still be quicker to do it. Nah, I'm going to manual explore for a little while. Uh, right, so I can use the enchant armor just straight on the armor? Oh, I can too. Well, that's fascinating. <laughs> that that one works. Ah, yeah, the manual explore take me back here. But hey, it found me a haste potion. That was the last, uh, yeah, it was the last pandemonium rune. <laughs> Let's put my shield back on. It's down to seven. And last so long that I almost forget to, like, put it back on when it actually gets used. Because <laughs> most of the stuff we're dealing with is with this particular character is not melee attacks. Just because I've got such good manifold assault going. <laughs> Otherwise, it probably would be. There isn't a way, is there? Um, yeah, well. So I'll go to the next region. This might have a way out of here. Um, There's no reason for me to pick up this enchant dub, right? It's my... I mean... No, I don't think so. I really should take gold of the auto and pick everything standard. <laughs> but for the sake of my retirement funds... I gotta have 8,000 gold for retirement. How am I gonna live happily without them? Although, to be fair, if you had an Orbazon, which I don't know what it does, you might not need money anymore. Because <laughs> it's rumored to be powerful enough to resurrect a god, so... 
I don't know if money would really matter to you anymore. Not that you actually can resurrect your god with it, because you can't bring Jeeva or Ignis back with it. Hey, there we go. Let's see if this. Ah, uh, that's the only best one, right? So I gotta get deeper. And even deeper. Three is deep enough, but I'll go to four if I see it. Because I'm with the shining one. The abyss is no real problem. Right, I'm pretty sure I can stand in that like uh, negative energy cloud as much as I like. Uh... Ooh, rude. It's rather far away. Oh well, I'll try to get to it. Actually, being far away is not necessarily worse. Yeah, like look at that, I got the right side to go in. Because if you see it really close by, it usually means you're on the wrong side to get in anyway. Um, because <laughs> the room always seems to be at the back of the room chamber. There we go, got it. And got my way out. Excellent. Well, that was a pretty short trip through. So I got a fire resistance, which is excellent. Those mutations, those are excellent. Let's go to put back on my melee attack resistance and go to hell. But I don't see this being a problem because these things are just kind of dying as they get up to me. This one's a bit tougher though. Oh, actually, the the eye golem's not too bad because it's just kind of eating away at my um shield. It, I think it's slow in attacking, right? No, it gets multiple attacks. It might be slow in attacking. I don't know. I don't remember them getting a huge number of attacks. It doesn't seem to be eating away at my shield too fast. Which hell do I do first? So. I'm gonna go on the way of resist. Kind of even. Missing resist corrosion. I got willpower. Got a statue form so I can't be uh, faded by the putrefying clouds or whatever they're called. Foul pestilence. So I could go to Tartarus. In fact, I probably should go to Tartarus, I reckon. Whichever one that is. That Tartarus looks like Tartarus. Yes. The only problem with Tartarus is the silence. Which would stop me, man, of full assaulting everyone. <laughs> Speaking of silence, there's the silent wraith. Oh, that time of silence, I lost my divine shield. In fact, that divine shield actually disappears reasonably quick. When things are actually up to me. Just avoid the silence, I might be able to. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go down. So we've got Doom Howled. I think this is... Oh, I got my strength range. That's probably fine. I think this is not too bad. This is a digital ambush. I can add to my rock legend. I don't actually need rocks because uh, throwing rocks is almost never going to be worthwhile when I'm manifold assaulting with a giant spike club. But hey, I can have a rock legend, right? See how many rocks they can get. They were useful early on when I was fighting in the maybe the snake birds, actually. Oh, I know what's using up my shield in here. It's all the guys that throw rocks at me because I'm reflecting them back using my divine shield. That's pretty fun. A 
27 spellcasting. What title am I even going to get? I need to uh, I need to figure that one out because I got so many things on 26. I got to figure something out. I'm pretty sure I've had the Oddy throwing one, right? Um, I got to ask Cerebot here, I think. No, Loblobot, the other one. I mean, they're the, the same thing anyway, really. Uh... Oni, I do S equals title to list the titles I've had. I have had, okay, Conquer is not anything. The starting? What is that from? Is that a Laganu one? A missionary Oni Balasus. I've had throwing. I've had Oni Mishap, which I think is the low party quasa one. I've had the shapeless one. Have I not had. The shields one. Is there really no Oni barricade in there? Not that I use a shield. There's so many titles I could get. I could get the pole arms one. I mean, it's kind of silly, but I could. Um, I could get the shields one, because for some reason I haven't had that one. I think the shield is actually useful. Le useful, yes, yeah, so I might leave that. This is silly, but... Pole arms it is. No limit. We're just going pole arms. I think I've got time to get full pole arms. And all my useful skills are basically maxed out, so it's not like I've given up much. Can I um, explore myself in here so the auto explore does the maze for me? Oh, I need a hold up. Scarf of Cold Resist, effectively. I lose Armor Class, gain Cold Resist. Uh, I won't go with the Reflection, because I don't have a shield. Hold up. Is there something better to drop here? There's got to be something useless. Noise. That'll do. But that's only really useful. I don't even know if that Scarf makes sense. It might make sense in... Um, Cosidus, but apart from that, I don't think it will. Even then, I'm not entirely sure. Because Cosidus, I don't really feel like you do need full cold resist. Like, two is plenty, I think. I have a bit more armor class might be more useful against, like, Shrikes. Oh, paralyzed. Ah, uh, it's fine. Lost my divine shield, but I think I just hit everyone. Actually, I guess not the teleport did hit everyone. The manifold salt. Hey, she died. Excellent. Uh, so I'd exclude the I'd exclude the way into the maze and just auto explore to where I need to be. I like to teleport out because well, she does it both with paralysis and her silence. And once you get you silence, you can't teleport out. So I like to do it nice and early just in case. Um Right, well I've got the rune. Let's get out of here. Where next? Cositis, maybe? Shrikes could be a problem, but I think Cositis isn't too bad. Let's go in. Actually, Shrikes might not live that well. Also, my Divine Shield is reflecting back their main attack. Okay, maybe the Shrikes... Uh, I mean, I will lose my Divine Shield sometimes. Maybe, maybe they're not as bad as I thought. I can't fly, can I? not going to be a big issue in here, but yeah, it's probably not going to be a big enough issue to worry about. Sometimes it is nice to run up to creatures. Like maybe if I was out of magic points or something, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to run to the walls as well. Although, this character doesn't do too badly surrounded, so... Oh, what's happened to me? Oh, no! Contaminated! That's one of those Zot traps. So I've got large glowing feet, which is fine. Can't get rid of it, because I can't drink a cancellation potion. Ah, frail! Um, why do I reset that? I mean, 
I could leave here and reset it, but... I'm actually thinking I don't reset that till... After the fiery hell. Because I actually... I don't know. It's just like getting better for now that fire resistance that I've got right now. Yeah, because those strikes are really kind of not that harmful. Ho, 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 look at that. Although I think I just got a teleport trap. How many strikes are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven strikes. Um. <laughs> well, so much for the teleport trap. Okay. Oh. This is where Rampage is really not that useful. <laughs> um, I gotta reduce things version with a bit of fog. I think that's the right thing to do. And then Manifold Salt hits a decent number of these. Although Cleansing Flame would too. I think Cleansing Flame. Ah, oh, I lost all my shield. Might put it back on. Oh, that was not right. I know these guys are almost dead. Oh, they died to a cleansing flame at zero percent failure. Either blink or cleansing flame, but I think a cleansing flame actually because of how wounded these guys are. Yeah. Yeah, I put on my divine shield again. Like, without the Rampage, I might have just been able to move down and then go down the staircase, but oh well. That was one of the nastiest ambush levels I've seen in a long time, though. That I divine shield did some serious work, although I don't sure refreshing was the right thing to do when I refreshed it. I think there might have just been a bit too many guys. That's an inconvenient alarm trap because I'm gonna be pulling things back into here all the time. It's almost triggered there, but it's probably fine if it does get triggered, honestly. Alright, this is a level where I just kind of sit here and just fight whatever comes along, and I just uh yeah, do those for quite some time until there's a lot less creatures in here, basically. Now oh, I gotta get out a couple of angels. <laughs> that guy trying to patch for five years, hilarious. It's probably speed up my killing of these guys with some angels. Oh, they would die to their own reflection. Actually, that's a good point. No, maybe it was definitely worth uh, while doing that. Because they can be almost protected throughout the turn while uh, also doing a serious amount of damage to them. No, that's a good point. No, you, that probably was worth it. So the shield was also offensive, yeah. No, actually, with how much damage I did with them. Because it doesn't just do cold damage, which I think they're immune to. Um... Also does quite a bit of physical, I think. It's like a shard device. I think it's half physical or something. So it would actually damage them. Should have hasted though. Ah, yeah, maybe. But I only actually had... Hold up. I only had like a couple of turns in there. I don't think that would have saved me time hasting. I think it would have actually taken longer with the haste, given how... Because, okay, the, the first turn, I was uh, actually no, the zero third, 
I was teleported, like, as soon as I went down by the teleport trap. Then the first thing I did was put my divine shield back on, I think. Oh, no, I read the fog. Okay, it might have actually been worthwhile. Never mind. Can I poison this guy up? But a ring of AC resist electric. I think I can probably poison them up. There we go. Surprised he hasn't moved next to me. Oh, he's gonna hold it. Huh. I maybe he should have blinked away from him or something, but he didn't seem to really be doing much to me. I dropped my potential ring, so I? If I wanted a potential ring, that would be the right one to have. Uh I don't think I do. Alright, let's get out of here. Where next? I got the fiery hell, I've got the iron city of death, so I've got tomb. I might go to a fiery hell. I don't pay enough attention. Oh, Cosinus, right, right, no, I couldn't have faced it up. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Because my potions were frozen. Now it's all my scrolls that are impossible to read or something. And after I've done this one, is it worth resetting these? It probably is, because I lose the fire to this, but I gain back my hit points. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, two, dropping two floors is good, right? It did put me down here at slightly lower magic points, but I think it's good. So those archers trying to shoot me with bows is hilarious. Or well, their bolts just getting reflected back. I might just dig my way into the corner right now. Because I'm kind of running out of magic points. Do some basic bashing instead of casting for a while. Wait, those are just trees. As soon as I saw those trees, it's like, whoa, what are those monsters? No, they're, they're just trees. I remember the first time seeing those trees and being really confused as well. Uh, but they're not the novel thing you see in Gehenna. Oh, why is my divine shield on fire? It might be the health and... Honestly, I think this divine shield has actually been made stronger than the old divine shield. Like, sure, it doesn't always last quite as long, but... I mean, it extended it kind of does. But it's actually really good. When it tells its thing. Uh, I guess I just let the auto explorer go where it wants to. I don't yet know where the boss is. Although I don't want to auto explore into the boss. Actually, I think I manual explore. Because I want to put on a taste. And maybe a brilliance. I think a brilliance as well before I find the boss. Just because you can't teleport out of things go wrong. A wall of calorie cause panic, it sure does. Even if it's just blood. As it turns out. Ah, refresh my shield. It's only missing like two charges or whatever. Three charges, whatever it was. Also, another thing it does to my shield, it blinds people as well. It doesn't come up too much anymore, but it definitely does. This could be the boss chamber, right? Or not? Wait. Not yet, but soon, right? So next chamber, is it? This boss one? But it's only a 50% chance I might pop it open. Ah, oh, that's it, right? Because I can see the flame cloud. It's not necessary, but I think it's a good chance. Let's haste up. Yeah, there he is. I don't need a brilliance, he's just dead. What's he got for me? Plus zero giant spike club. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything better than it could be without being an artifact, though. Because I've already got the Holy Wrath one. It's already plus nine. 
All right, let's get out of here. I've got my room, so I need a dis and to the tube. Let's go to dis. All right, these guys are gonna use shields. In fact, it's probably a number of things in here that will eat away at my shield, but that's all too bad. Uh, are these guys the same speed as me? Seventy percent. Ah, uh, no, I'm uh, what sixty-seven percent or something. So they actually, yeah, ever so slightly faster than me, I think. Oh, well, this is a branch that will actually use a bit of piety, but that's no big issue. Uh, I don't run the magic points. Um, also, these guys. Well, something here was reflecting. It's bolts back, actually. That's pretty good, reflecting all these guys' bolts back. Can I reflect a throwing guy back when someone throws this thing at me? I'm not sure I can. But that'd be hilarious if I could. Um, like something gets thrown at me and I just throw it back. What if, uh, as the first... Oh, what if it was the first Giant Spike Club of the run? I mean, it totally could have been. Like, uh, if I hadn't got... Actually, no, I found Lost by now, right? Uh... Ah, what? Smell like something wrong. Oh, it's, uh, the most things that... Wait. It was the second one of the run. I thought I had more than that, but apparently I don't. Huh. Okay. This is terrible, but I might drink a brilliance potion. Oh, wait, no, it didn't last. I might actually start to. Oh, well, teleport won't last either. Where's the manifold assault? Oh, I wanted to go in that corridor. I think I might be able to get a teleport without it being cancelled up. We'll see. No, nope, it got cancelled up. Uh, I think I do blink down this way. Okay. Start another brilliance. I start another taste and I should be good to go. There we go, this should be able to kill everything, yeah. Oh, there's two, uh, d oh, two duplicates, right, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, wait, are you? I thought it was spiked, oh, there's one, there's one in this. There's one in Gehenna. Oh, yeah, there's one in Vaults, right, no, you're completely right. Although the ones that this would be ones I've just seen, so it was like the fourth giant spike club I'd seen, I think. Oh man, I'm out of magic points. Uh, what? That's lava. <laughs> Which also means this enemy can't actually get to me. Oh, what's need my shield back? It's getting low. In fact, it can blind. I didn't even know that golems could be blinded, but they can apparently. Also, I don't really need to explore this. I've got rid of any hell effects. Also, I forgot to reset my mutations. Let's go do that right now. We've got 11 points of mutation. I might be able to get some health back. Uh, I did not get some health back. Let's try that again. Did not get some health back. I think it got some intelligence, which is not bad. Hey, there we go. So we got fire resist, cold resist, intelligence, resistance, further mutation. That's a pretty good set. What's power like on the uh, manifold assault? Oh, I should remember on this first one. Hey, it's almost 40%. Uh, 39%. Uh, I'm already on level 7. I am. I recognize this board as the one that I uh, get on level 7 with all the guys around it.
Or if you didn't get that one first, uh, next one would have been Vols 5. Yeah, then I would have had to... I don't know. Where did I get the... I got the fire starter later, wasn't it, as well? Wait, that was in the Wiz Lab and Vol... And the Death Solution of... Oh, it was Death Solution of Salts and Vaults. So I, I would have got one in Vaults. Um, well, I would have got the... Uh, not the Giants Bike Club, but the... Fire starter. And Vaults. Uh, I can't remember what level of the Vaults I got the Death Solution of Salt. So I might as well magic map, like I got tons of those. Just slightly guide my path here. Oh, hey Tormentor. That's fine, I think I just keep on... Can I just have a potion of brilliance? I don't like that Quicksilver drag. did it hit me? I don't think so. Free shield, I'm gonna put it back on. <laughs> Pretty much all those things were targeting my shield, so it was just, um. Yeah, it was a pretty big ambush, but the brilliance of the trick. Ah, uh, I can manifold sword a couple of times, get rid of some of these guys. All right. Should have probably just stabbed next to that guy. Not that it really matters, but it would have saved me magic points. Just in case somebody else came along, really. Uh... Guys are maybe more annoying when they're blind than when they're not blind. Hey, there we go, I've got a title, so I can just max out the fighting, max out the transfications, max out the spellcasting, max out the invocations. Oh, uh, I haven't got any dodging. I'll think about that. A little bit of dodging wouldn't hurt with my 10 decks and, uh, on each size. But I would need more than a little bit. Alright, what do I want? I think I want a haste versus this boss. Hope I can do it without the brilliance, and I can mirror them up. Ah, oh, yeah, he's reflecting stuff back at himself. That was no problems. Ah, uh, ooh, magic points fires us. Yes, please. Okay. I don't think I need the willpower, so 12 magic points is a lot. Fantasy even gives willpower. I'll just swap out the cold resist one. Yeah. That's good. I'm uh, I've still got a couple of cords this because I think I got a mutation for it as well. Seventy four magic points. That's like full on spellcaster magic points. Although to be honest, this character is a full on spellcaster, right? <laughs> At this point. All right. What am I doing in tomb? I'm probably gonna have to lignify and do cleansing flame and stuff. But the manifold sword actually isn't too bad. I mean, the first level is gonna be clad almost purely with manifold sword. Is that Pearl Dragon Armor? Oh yeah, plus zero. Alright, my shiny ore is back. Um, but Cleansing Flame does take, I think Cleansing Flame is reasonably cheap, it's just you tend to spend them a lot in here. Wait, it's actually got some doors on it? How many targets do I hit? If it's on 40% power, I can't even remember the formula. Is it 4 plus, like, percentage times 8 or something? Something like that. So, what's 40% of 8? Um, <laughs> Actually, I think it was only 39% power. Uh... Oh, I had about seven targets, according to Cerebot there. 
Right, so there's too many mod targets on enemy. So it's only think fire starter. Ooh, fire. I mean, holy wrath as well, but also. No, you're right. I think fire started Ashley. I want to give this a try. I really do want to give this a try. No, that's a good recommendation there. Well, that's going to reflect. It's hilarious. Yeah, actually, let's give this a try. Manifold Assault with a fire starter on the second level. I probably need to lignify. But that's about it. Let's give it a try. Uh, I have some points of magic. I got like nine of those. I should be fine. <laughs> uh, this is okay. I might just run for the staircase. I've lost my lignification. I could probably put on another one. But there's not too much here that can torment. Um... And I'm like three resist negative and uh, resist torment with my statue form. I don't know if it's better, but it's, it's definitely more fun. So, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the way to go. Um, Although now that I've got down to less things, I'll go back to my giant spike club. But when I go down to the third level, definitely got to give this a try. Oh, was I lost my <laughs> melee protection there? I guess technically also archery protection, but there's not going to be many archers here. All right, teleport. Wait off the mic. Teleport. There we go. Where did that come from? Someone must have stood on... What? Did someone just, like, stood on that net trap and then run away, I guess? That's the only thing I can think of that would have put that net on me. All right, so back to my fire starter. Um, I want to put on some buffs though before I go down with my potions. Oh, that's the wrong key. Brilliance is good. Haste is good. Yeah, probably just I might as well do mind. I haven't really been using that one. I gotta try with the teleport. So re-teleport, then go down. That's fine. I might try another teleport. Wait, what? I'm gonna teleport? That's about as central as I can get. So if I lignify up here... Let's give it a go. I can see some fireworks going off here. Ah oh, yeah, this is definitely keeping them under control. Oh, marked even? That's good. I want to be marked. Pull some stuff in. Am I still... I'm no longer lignified. Alright, I see. Oh, I should not give a doing that. That's definitely damaging me. I think I'm gonna get back a bit of this health. Yeah, I should have lignified up straight away. I was trying to get somewhere a bit more central, but it was obviously not worth it. If I see something, I'll put back, uh, something that torments like that, go, I'll put back on the lignification, got tons. Well, that's definitely a new way of doing that one for me. I don't think I've, uh, got in here with a fire starter before. Uh, uh what is this? Evasion resist corrosion? I had a basic resist corrosion, but... I don't think I'll ever need it now. Okay, I've got my Ziggurat. I was going to try a piece of a Ziggurat. I don't know how far I was going to get. That's a flight if I had a basic flight one. Should do. Do I want to do fire? I was fire starter and Ziggurat was what I was going to try, right? All right, well. I might as well do that right now, actually. I should probably draw some stuff, though. Um... I don't need that scarf resistance anymore. I got other resists already. 
I won't need the Holy Wrath, but I'll keep it on me anyway. Uh, do I want to harm or magic regen on the Ziggurat? Actually, not the Reflection Cauldron, so that one's not that good. I think I need that core as magic points one because I got the more magic points one. Or two, actually, as it turns out. Uh... I guess Sack of Spiders is going to do much for me. All right, let's uh, pop over to Ziggurats and see if I can do a one. Uh... Oh, put on my shield, of course. Single Wendigo. I mean, that's not going to do much. Sorry, I still got Blinky Rice. Right? I still got like five of those. Excellent. Uh, might as well set this to the look at everything. Okay, next. I mean, the first few levels are really chill, right? Then things just kind of build up from there. Might as well drink the experience. It doesn't do much at this point. Oh yeah, max in my transocations. Uh, dodging was what I was going to get next. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just like an option, but... I like 10 dodging. Um, try to get some throwing as well, just in case I get a level where I'm silenced and I need to throw something. Alright, next level. I still have lost any of my shield. Oh, there we go. What's this guy doing? It's reflecting something back at itself. It's got, oh, it's got silence. I better kill it quick. Uh, I don't know if I need a charred armor. Like, if I charred down my gold dragon armor already, I think I'm going to stick two handed, so probably not, but. Yeah, well. Uh, I don't think I need a Lignify. No, it's not quite big enough. A later level of those, I would need to Lignify, I'm pretty sure. It's not that many. I mean, this is technically later, but I don't think it's actually got more creatures on it. Uh, that's the only ground I wanted to say. I don't need a scroll of amnesia. How's that for numbers of creatures? I think I just blow those up. I'm looking just specifically ones for the torment or death. Yeah, I mean, that's still fine. Okay, I can drink. Some experience. But the experience it gives, um, it gives as you reducing skill points as you get later on, because there's, um, there's such a thing as, like, you know how, like, in most games, when you level up, you get, like, skill points, and you uh, get slower sort of leveling up, like, more and more experience? It's kind of like that with getting skill points in Crawl as well, except it's not based on, like, oh, that's holy. Uh, sure. It's not based on, like, character level. It's a little bit different. Um, oh, actually, these burn up just fine. But it's a similar sort of thing. You need more and more experience to get the same number of skill points. So the potion of experience give a certain amount of, like, skill experience. And that will give you later skill, less skill points later on. So you can see this barely go up by much, even though they're not very high level. Whereas if you were to drink that as like a character that barely got any skills, they'd go up a huge amount. Oh, only mummies? Yeah, I mean, one of those levels didn't have much apart from mummies. <laughs> Maybe that's all my ziggurats are just mummy levels. All right, let's go down again. Actually, no, I need my divine shield. There we go. Fine. I see the dude that torments. I should also check on the Pandemonium Lord. Bolt of Fire, sure. Ooh, I'm blind. That's going to make it hard to hit, I think. Maybe. Oh, I like how it um, makes the further out areas like uh, more and more white. 
to represent his heart to hit the areas further out. That's actually a neat little touch. Don't think it used to do that. Or maybe it did. I haven't been blinded that much in this game. I don't know about mutators, but they'll probably die. I quite like my mutations, fire and cold resist. Oh, I've also got resistance to further mutations, so I've also got less chance just from that of being mal mutated as well. Uh, Ring of Evasion. Oh, 10 Evasion. But I've got 12 magic points, 5 resist, and I've got uh, 9 magic points, 5 strength, and a cold resist uh, on that one. I might keep with my magic points, honestly. That was. I never knew my divine shield. I think it was already on 14. Okay, that used a bit of shield, but I didn't kill anything. That's better. Sometimes it takes a little bit to start the things burning, because you got to actually kill some stuff. I shouldn't be drinking these potions of experience one at a time. I should just grab a bunch of them and drink them all at the end or something, just for fun. Oh, the counteracting is that right before level 27, giving up a level is more impactful at higher levels. Or going up a level. Ah, uh, is it? Oh, the experience points are kind of trolling. I feel like, um, puzzling right around, oh, do I use my, there's something here. I need the haste, but I'm short, oh, I might cancel up. I might get short of magic points. I feel like uh, right around lair is when the experience potions are tend to be the most impactful. Honestly, because that's when you often struggle the most. An extra level does quite a bit for you. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I've always felt like that's the most impactful though. Hmm. Those, yeah, those levels are definitely some of the tough ones. And there's only deepness 14 as well. So they, these are going to get worse as they go down further. Also, I don't need a herb expander. That's what faith. But it messes around my skills. It actually makes them worse. Because uh, my skills are already so good that it's hard to make them better. Good, I don't think that guy messed with my mutations, thankfully. Also, this is an area where getting a little bit of end to a nest would really be a bad idea, because then I could hit more targets. Also, the locomore axe. I actually technically do have pull-on skill, because I could totally use that. Um, It's probably not worth it. 71 damage? What am I even doing right now? 66 damage? I mean, it's probably not worth it. But you technically can, like, Cleave big area with it. I need to be invisible. Like right oh. I'm with a shining one. <laughs> Good luck going invisible with the shining one. Right. Um I mean these guys are burning up reasonably well. Do some more emulation. I don't want to be near that statue. I might just stay back in Manifold Salt. Uh, it's only a nice statue, so it's not like one that can drain my magic points. I just orange crystal statue, I believe, can actually drain some magic points. Nothing good, nothing good. I think experience points are kind of trolling, right? Right, the other thing was definitely are trolling, right? It's like, well, they don't do a whole lot. I mean, they, they add up a little bit in the end when you get all of them, but I don't know, it really is kind of trolling. <laughs> okay, you've probably already maxed off your skills. Have an experience potion. Ah, uh, this is still fine, but I'm taking take a bit of torment here. Also, I'm blinded. I might put on my divine shield. Ooh, I used up a lot of levels. Okay. 
Oh, what does this guy do, actually? Crystal spear is probably fine. Ooh, damnation. Some of these levels are definitely getting kind of tough, but I guess I'm down to, like, depth 17 now, right? So I should expect to uh, see the tougher things. Uh, Scordus Magic Point Strengths. I would lose three magic points, but I gained one strength. It doesn't really feel like an upgrade, honestly. Do I really need that flying ring anymore? Uh, I probably dropped the Francisco Corrosion one, actually. Oh, whoops. I don't need that Faith Tablet. It's five slag. I don't think I need it, though. Actually, that's something that I was maybe going to do. Was, uh, the magic region isn't so useful. Do I, I got the resist electric for my statue form. Rampage is alright, but I might try to harm. For a while in here, see how that goes. Try and save me some magic points. Okay, my throwing's up to 20. What else do I want to get? I mean, I can get more dodging. More, oh, I actually haven't got any evocation at all. I might get some evocation. I might get some dodging. I'm unlikely to use too much evocation, but it can be the useful for the same reason the throwing is. The uh, levels that um, don't let you cast spells because they will silence up. I really don't care about a robe. It's just willpower anyway. All right. Uh, he will get me with some torment, but I think I'll be able to take them out reasonably quick. And because they're undead, I'm getting health back when I kill them. Um, Hamlet of, oh, regen doesn't do much in here, two slang. I mean, I'm definitely looking out for Rablers, because this, um, this hard one's alright. But I'll take another one, if the game offers it to me. Uh... They're at level 20, how much more does that mean I've got to do? God, it goes down to 27, right? I'm pretty sure lots of things go to 27 in this game. I don't like I have magic regen, which means once I've run out of magic points, it's kind of not coming back, but oh well. That's. I mean, I've still got those nine magic potions, I think, that I didn't end up using in Tomb. Oh, I can't wear the boots. The uh, Shillelagh isn't that good, or Shalila, or whatever it's called. I don't even know what that one's called. Um, I don't know. Let's go. Oh, I've still got my Divine Shield. Did I refresh that? I must have. There's no way it survived. Entire level where I was taking hits. Uh, it's happening to me. Not a whole lot. Uh, it's like minus two strengths or something. I was totally expecting those uh, temporary mutations to do a bit more. Oh, right. I should get my magic points back before I go exploring so that I can hit any of those guys that come along. Uh, can't use a shield of resistance. Don't care. Oh, ground talisman minus three in, but it gives three strength. Nah, that's not going to be worth it. What I want is, uh, what is much, uh, ooh, what's that? Magic points, fire resist, cold resist. Oh, minus three in. I've got something similar. I've got the code of this magic points, but it's got plus strength instead. Why am I carrying around this junk? I mean, quite a lot of stuff, probably. The Chard armor. Oh, that acquired? That's junk. It's got... Well, nah, it's got 
ice dragon armor. Oh my god, my shield was hot because I didn't check before I went down. Ooh. Huh? Uh, guess there's a resistance to mutations doing the trick against the temporary mutations. It's only somewhat though, it's the first level, so... 30%? I don't know. Doing a lot. Now, oh. I'll have to my magic points to go with Moss, I see. Not too many guys left, I should just be able to... Oh, Mally there, but I cast him to see first. This might be a chance to regain some magic points, honestly. Maybe. I don't want to get sick, though. Ah, let's get out of here. I got me back a few magic points, which is great, because then I can manifold assault. Oh, so the ghost moth drains my magic. I don't care about that ring. I can probably just drop what I need space. What's over here? The Ring of Flight might as well this fire this. I mean, it's not a good ring. All right, next level. This fire started does actually seem like a legit way of doing ziggurats. <laughs> like, probably not, not really compatible with the spellcasters, but still a legit way. I'm going to actually read a scroll of emulation on these dudes. And <laughs> just watch the fire burn. It's funny, kind of funny how the game like pauses and does like every single animation. Oh, it's brilliant on a robe. No, I can't. I can't have no armor class. That would be a terrible idea. Also, no willpower, but that's probably not. I mean, I guess you can still get paralyzed. It's probably not quite as bad as always. No um, armor class. Oh, ghost moss. Hmm. Gonna have to maybe start them in melee. Like, start the ball rolling in melee. Yeah. And then the clouds of flames are, like, uh, burning up more of these guys, so... That's something, at least. Now that's probably gonna help. Gonna have to do a lot of those levels. Just rely on my scrolls. Oh, it's a punk. Good old punk. Um, if you're an archer character, sure. Oh, it's a wizardry ring with. I don't want minus magic points. I don't want all the light. I don't need a manual first, but I'll take it. It's the only thing in there that's like not completely useless. If I ever trade earth magic, these can't do much, right? Double chicken. Yeah, that's looking not too bad. That's probably a statue in each of the four corners, I'd imagine. Well, it's kind of corners, it's not quite. Don't care about that ring. Fire to strength. I don't care about that one. Oh, definitely not Maxwell. Well, for one thing, I can't wear it. For another thing, it's like minus cast. So, yeah, definitely not. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look right. That's a macro screen or something. This is, oh, level 26. I've already got two levels and I'm done with the cigarette. I just troll these guys with a divine shield. Is that not quite working? Uh, I saw an emulation on these guys. It just doesn't quite keep up when there's too many of them. I mean, if there's a small number of them, the Divine Shield does keep up.
I think it's just like a smattering of guys along the level. I don't think there's anything serious left anymore. Uh, magic points uh, rampage. What is my one? Okay, so there's magic points. There's rampage, which is the other thing in here. I didn't really need the other things on this one. That's. I mean, outside of here, it might be a slight improvement. Okay, what have we got here? Basic statue. Rig of fire, electric, and a little bit of strength and stuff. Oh, it's a uh, GOG. And, well... I probably won't be able to use a GOG, but... I want to pick it up, because GOGs are cool. That's my last level of my ziggurat here. Let's see which one I get. Kind of abyssal. Do I have a brilliance? Nah. Ooh, that was a torment, I think. Still got my divine shield on good. Just take it with an orb of destruction because this an orb of destruction can do a lot of damage if you don't. Uh, a little bit spread out. For perfect blowing up with this weapon. <laughs> Everywhere I go, there's just creatures. I'm just existing in this little spot between the statues. Wait, why are they still coming along? Shouldn't be able to... Oh, come on. They shouldn't be able to see me. Actually, I don't think they would summon... Or if you just want to get more enemies on screen, Gravard is nice. Ooh. Right, because the things off screen wouldn't be affected by it. So if you just Gravard towards a group of creatures. I should have actually been doing that. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. Anyway, here's my figurine. And, uh, do I really need a locomore axe? I kind of want to take it with me, but it's not that important. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's an old ring. It used to be good, but I don't quite keep up anymore. Uh, got my figurine. I can get out of here. I don't think I'll do more than one ziggurat. Also, it actually does a lot of damage on ziggurats. Right, because of all the creatures. I guess if you're next to a wall, you could just slam them all into a wall. Huh. But no, that ziggurat was fun. Just going in with uh, this great mace. Although, where am I going next? Am I just going to Zot 5? Oh, those are quite works. I feel like I could go... Now nah, I'll get the fire starter on. Stick with it. Go maximum fun here, I think. It will be kind of loud, but I think that's alright. Uh, wait. You can do an edit fable of a fire? Huh. I mean, it, there's a light already got fire in it, but I guess you can put more fire in the orb of fire? I don't know. Yeah, then you can make the orb of fire blow up and it dies. I mean, the orb of fire almost seems like something that would blow up anyway when it died. Uh, oh, did sound on a net trap. Oh, they, oh, the creatures knock into each other. So, oh, right. And there's a garage. Huh. Wait, so I guess some of them wouldn't be able to move for some reason? Or maybe they'd... Oh, I guess it had all the stuff behind. Like the row of things behind. And it'll knock into each other and do a bunch of damage. Right. Huh. Let me just haste off a little here. Look, I've got to get rid of Quicksilver Dragon if I want to keep my haste on. Also, I maybe should have swapped off the hub, swapped off my other thing. Oh, one magic point short of Divine Shield. Can't 
quite finish this guy off. Um, this was a bad full solve, but I guess that's fine. Nothing stopped me during this whole place. In fact, with the amount of noise I've made, I've probably done most of the rest of here anyway. Yeah, there we go. So I can now... I mean, I might as well just win this game. I've got Oni Porcupine, which should be a unique title. Let's do it. Pandemonium Lords are not abused. I don't fear some Pandemonium Lords. You know what? I feel like a lot of the things coming along in the old run are going to be... Things they can hit with a giant spike club. Um, Holy Wrath one. Like, they're pretty much all demons, right? And they don't tend to group up quite as much as, um... Some places. By Pandemonium Lodge. I should take what they do. Blink close, sure. Oh, I really should have put on this, uh... Wait, this one? I'll try this one. Is that equip it? Yeah, I don't think it's on. Ugh, God, I'm barbed. I know this has got Firestorm because it just hit me with one. Let's see what else it's got. Silence. Really, dude? Okay. I'll read the teleport and then I'll just try and hit it. Um... The, the teleport's mainly just in case it gets me on the silence. I got fire resist. It's still doing a decent amount. Yeah, it did. Oh my god, they can just, like, do some damage. Wand of Acid, I guess. I'll probably tell you. I mean, teleport takes longer to go off. There we go. I mean, a couple more turns is all it took, so it, yeah, I don't think it could have killed me in that time, whether it's like Firestorm or anything. Maybe if it max roll, but I still had a reasonable amount of health. Oh, what's the animal Lord is dead. I was going to check what it did, but there's no point in doing that when it's dead, right? Oh, same with that one. One hit it again. I should check what this one does. Over destruction? No, no problems there. Oh, come on, the little hounds in my way. This has been a really fun run, but I really feel like, uh, like, this started off okay and not, like, super powered, but once I got the Manifold Assault, this kind of run just kind of went super powered. Um, like, there were a few areas in hell that I had to watch out for because they were nasty ambush ones. Why am I in hell? <laughs> okay. But... The Battlefield Assault just slaughters things. Wait, did I not go to the dungeon? Did I go somewhere else? Uh, I mean, it would have more or less taken me in the right direction. Wait, or did it? No, wait. I was on dungeon level 12, though. I went all the way to hell. I That was not quite right. Hard. It's fine. This all runs out hard, but, like, it's just silly. I don't know where I even tried going. I don't even know how I accidentally tried going somewhere. Diamond Swing is zero percent. That's fine. Because I've pretty much just been spamming the like, go to the last target thing. I mean, I guess if once I did the wrong target, then I've been spamming go to the wrong area since then. But I'm on dungeon level three, dungeon level one. There we go. That's my exit. Let's get out of here. That was a fun run. No, definitely. With the, I mean, I'm so glad I found the fire starter. That was perfect for that character. Or maybe this character was perfect for the fire starter. I mean, the same thing, really. And I'm glad I found the rings of magic points. That was nice. Yeah, I pretty much found everything I needed. I could have found more brilliance, but I found everything else I needed. That was a fun run. Uh, it was actually a quick run as well. 15 runes and 4 hours, 40 minutes.